everybody, and welcome back to Twofold Tuesday. Woo! Ba -ba -ba -ba. Oh, I wish I had like an like a DJ air horn sound effect. I I need to add that as a a sound alert. I need to have a sound button that's just like the air horn going like. Ba -ba -ba -ba. <laughs> But hello, everybody! Yeah! I guess the, the confetti works as well. Woo! <laughs> welcome, welcome! It's Twofold Tuesday again! <laughs> the doot <laughs> may be a little further away. <laughs> oh, can you imagine if you had a trumpet and every time you played it, it was like an air horn? That would not be the nicest instrument. <laughs> But welcome everybody, Rika, welcome on in, congratulations on the first, and thank you so much for the resub for 17 months as well. I can't believe it's been so long. Oh, that's nearly a year and a half now with the, the subbing as well, that's that's so incredible, wow. But thank you so much, and Susan Bay, hello, welcome, welcome. Thank you for the confetti and the doot. <laughs> it's funny because I actually have the sound effect on my computer. I have like the the DJ air horn sound effect as a file on my computer. I could add that so easily. What if I did? No, I need to not. I need to not get distracted by this right now. I'll do it tomorrow. <laughs> I'll do it in the chatting hand cam stream tomorrow. I'll, I'll add a uh, air horn sound but uh welcome in everybody i hope everyone's having a good start to the week so far it is tuesday tuesday again no problem <laughs> just an easy click and drag onto the stream deck so tempting i wish it was that easy it's not that easy for me because of the way i have all of my audio rooted on my computer it i, don't, I would have to actually set it up What, what? Oh, but you know what I could do, though? I could literally just stick it in OBS quickly and just... I don't know how loud this is going to be. <laughs> oh, oh my god, I'm so sorry. Uh, a lesson learned. I don't do that. I don't do that. I don't do that. Oh god. Oh, god, I'm so sorry. <laughs> I'm so sorry. Ow! Ow, what have I done? Why did I do this? Hi, good morning, everyone. I'm just making sure everyone's ready. I'm just waking everybody up so that everyone is ready for Caprice time. Because I am, I'm so excited to be starting Caprice Route. I'm really, really excited for this. Like, I'm so attached to the art club ever since playing First Snow. Like, since playing First Snow, I'm, I'm really... I really love the art club so much, so I'm really, really excited for Caprice's path. Because, like, going into Millie's, I didn't really have that kind of emotional connection to any of the characters, and I definitely developed it along the way. Darren, I love you. But I didn't start with that, so it's going to be really interesting to see how different the dynamic is, like, going into it knowing about the characters already. So it's going to be really interesting. I'm, I'm very excited for it. But yeah, we love OBS's default of max volume for audio files. I It terrified me too. I'm so sorry. <laughs> I've got to say, I'm, I'm awake now too, at least. I'm, I'm very alert and ready. <laughs> I didn't expect it to be that loud. I'm... Ow. Uh, you know what I'm going to do? I'm gonna do this. I'm gonna do this. As if I wasn't awake enough already, honestly, though. I, I woke up after the air horn. No. <laughs> now, I, now I gain alertness. Oh, thank you for the hydrate. Oh, thank you. Now I get two sips. <laughs> thank you for the hydrate. I've got my ultra fiesta today. We had the Rosa for Millie, which was the pink can, which is close to red. And we have the Fiesta now for Caprice, which is the teal can, which is close to blue. So it works. I made it work somehow. <laughs> but I'm, I'm really, really looking forward to this because of how 
most mostly because of how attached I am to Allison and Eileen. I love those two so much. I, I love them. I have such a soft spot for them. I, I want to see them grow up strong and healthy. I want them to live their best possible lives together. I, I adore them with all my heart. I love them. All right, sorry, I need to... My chair keeps getting stuck on something. I need to just quickly figure out what that is. Because every time I'm trying to roll my chair a little bit, it's getting stuck on something. And I think I may be running over a cable, which I don't ideally want to do. So let me just check this very quickly. I'm stuck here. Oh God. Well, I figured out the problem very, very quickly. Uh, I had a little, like, I have a little metal photo stand thing. It's just like a very thin piece of metal with a little heart on the top that you can like slot a picture into or whatever. That fell off my desk. I ran over it at some point with my chair. I had the, the wire from the middle of that wrapped around one of my wheels, the wheel of my chair. So that explains why my chair wasn't wheeling there was like a piece of wire stuck in it so i've got that out <laughs> and now i can actually move my chair around <laughs> how did i not notice that how did i not notice that i was like running over that that is that's impressive even for me that is wild uh i feel like I need to get a cushion or something for my chair too. I feel like the padding in the seat is starting to wear out a bit and it's getting really, really hard and uncomfortable to sit on. Like the, the padding is getting too squashed. So I gotta get a cushion. Wait, what am I doing? I literally have cushions. I have cushions in my room. I have cushions, I can just grab one. Also, Gregor, hi, welcome, welcome. Welcome on in, sorry, I'm just grabbing a cushion for my chair because it is hard and uncomfortable. I want a comfy seat. This, mm. Oh, this is so much better, but now my chair is too high. <laughs> I'm sitting on a cushion now, but now my chair's too high up because the cushion is so padded. That's okay. Anyway, as I'm sure everybody can tell, I am extremely prepared and ready for this stream. I definitely didn't wake up just an hour ago and rush my lunch. Uh, <laughs> Oh my goodness, my sleep recently has been all over the place. I've just not been sleeping, but I managed to sleep this morning. I I fell asleep at like 7 a.m., I think it was. I, I'd fully resigned myself to not getting any sleep tonight. I was like, okay, this is a no sleep night. I'm fine. But then I fell asleep at 7, and then I slept through until 1, and I got a solid six hours sleep which is very nice for me. Like six hours in one go is extremely impressive for me. <laughs> but then it meant I woke up and I was like, oh dearie, I'm streaming in an hour. <laughs> but I made it, I'm here, very prepared. Um, definitely my chair is fine. <laughs> I did it, how was my start of the week? Oh, it's been okay, I think. I've had a decent start to the week. It's been it, nothing special to speak of, but uh, I got to spend time with some of my friends yesterday, which is always nice. I've got some nice packages in the mail recently, which is also very nice. And I'm going to show those off tomorrow when I do a hand cam stream, because it's been a while. It's been a little while since I, I got my hands out on stream. So I figured why not? show off all the cool merchandise I've gotten recently, including my own. <laughs> so I'm excited for that. I mostly 
have planned that stream just because I want to show off my own merchandise. I will fully admit it. I will admit it. I'll, I'm just... I can't believe how nicely it turned out. And I'm really excited. I've, I'm so happy to, like, have it in my hands. Oh, you also woke up an hour ago, but for you it makes more sense. Yeah, it, it makes a lot of sense for people in the US and Canada. In, like, the... North America, South America side of the world. It's it's a waking up time over there. Uh, it's 2 p.m. in the afternoon over here, so. <laughs> Ayo, some of those cute keychains you saw online. Yes, I have the the full Verpro Eats collection with the little collectible postcard, and they're so cute. I can't get over how cute they are. They they turned out so lovely, and I I I have my keychain up on, on top of my computer at the moment. I've, I've got a, a little a little cat lamp on top of my desk and I've kind of just hooked my keychain over the end of the cat lamp's tail at the moment. <laughs> it's so cute. Hi, Rin. Lovely to see you. Good morning. Yeah, they're adorable. I know, I love them so much. They're so cute. I keep meaning to take photos of all the things I've bought recently because I've just... I've been buying so much merch. It's like anything I earned from my own merchandise, uh, half of it went on my portable air conditioning unit, which I still need to set up. And and the other, I'm pretty sure the other half has all gone on other people's merchandise. Like I've been buying so much other merchandise. <laughs> on oh, caps, hello. Good morning. Uh, oh, you're on a media blackout. Oh, that is completely fair and valid. That is fully, fully all right. Don't worry about it. But uh, you didn't miss much anyway, because last week was, um, I think it took me like three hours to just do Heather's scenes. Because <laughs> I was getting so distracted talking about things and talking about movies and talking about what's her deal and being like, it's an excuse for acting like that, but it's not... Well, it's an explanation, but it's not an excuse, and... I don't even remember what we ended up talking about. But there were so many wild conversation tangents. So you'll be really happy to know that you didn't actually miss much content in the game. I've literally only just gotten the title card that says Caprice Act 1. So we're, we're right at the start. We're right at the very start. We... <laughs> You want to see what I did last week? I can show you, actually. Or is it? It'll be like, okay, how much progress did you make in the stream? And I answer... I answer yes. I made lots of progress in the stream. <laughs> because Caprice took her hat off. <laughs> So I had to give her a hat back. And then I had to give everyone else a hat. Because the first hat I found was the women want me fish fear me one. And I was like, no, that's an Eileen hat. <laughs> so then they all got hats. But I think I did a good job. I love how I, I, I started this whole thing in order to give Caprice a new hat when she took hers off. And then I didn't even give her a hat. I just put an egg on her head. Like, she didn't even get a hat in the end. <laughs> I would say a good tangent, though. I, I, I think that was a, a good way to spend a stream, definitely. But yeah, yeah, exactly, though. Merch to fund merch. It's like I, 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 I saw, like, what I earned through the merch stuff, and I was like, one, I can't believe people are actually buying my merch. I love this. I'm so happy. And two, think of all the Studio Elan merch I can buy now. And then I proceeded to make an order on the web store so that when Josh was sending me my things, like my own merch and stuff, like the my own merch for myself, I was like, okay, I'm also going to place an order. I would like to buy all of this stuff with it too. Just send it all. Send it all over. Just huge parcel with everything. So as well, for the things I get to show off tomorrow, I also have... Um, I, I got some twofold merch as well. <laughs> I couldn't resist. 
<laughs> I couldn't resist. And I got a, a couple of tiny two-fold freebies as well, which I was... I was so over the moon when I opened the parcel and I was like, I didn't buy this. I didn't buy this. Thank you. Thank you. <laughs> it was very nice. Aw, oh, don't worry. Uh, we all know it'll take some time before we're home and I just didn't want to head back all alone without caps, obviously. Yeah, that's that's definitely it. Uh, the reason why I didn't make much progress last time was definitely not because I got distracted and because I wanted to wait for caps to be here. I waited for you, definitely. Absolutely. <laughs> but no, it's worked out nicely, though, because I... I it's... It's nice. I like I like getting to experience it with everybody. I like being able to share the experience as I play it as well. So it works out well. No, <laughs> so it's your fault. No, no, it's not fault. It is. Um, you are so special and important to me <laughs> that I wouldn't want to continue without you. It is a a compliment and a high honor that you should feel happy about. Please, please, don't <laughs> please be happy. <laughs> But yeah, I decided to treat myself to the, the twofold art book from the web store as well. And then when I was at it, I was like, well, I kind of want, um, I kind of want an olive standee and I kind of want a Haley standee. And then I also want a Millie standee. And then I also want a Capri standee. So I bought all of them. <laughs> so I've got the twofold art book. I've got all of the standees. <laughs> <laughs> Which I've not assembled yet because I got to do the little peelies with the plastic. I got to peel the plastic off them So that's my plan for tomorrow's hand cam stream It's gonna be merch reveal and also I peel off all of the protective layers on all of the plastic things I have <laughs> and Then I've got my I've got, I've got all of my merchandise from the without a voice Kickstarter Which I backed and got all of the merch for and then I giggled when it arrived because I forgot I already had some Without a Voice merch. And I actually got two of the acrylic keychains ages ago. Ages and ages ago. And now I have a third. I also have two pins. <laughs> so I'm just here like... I'm, I'm just being the Without a Voice super fan. And I still have not played it on stream. I'm waiting for October for it to be seasonal. But yeah, that's really exciting too, because that merch is also so gorgeous. Like the the pins from the Without a Voice Kickstarter, the the pins are gorgeous. It is so beautiful. I got one of the rainbow ones and it's so pretty. It's so nice. But it's really, really nice. Also, Kale, hello! You're here. What are we doing at the moment? I'm talking about how um I, I made more than I expected off my merchandise, so I then proceeded to spend all of the pros the profits on more merchandise for other various things. <laughs> uh, I'm I'm not a smart person. If I was smart, I'd be putting that money into my savings. I would be being responsible with it. I would be like investing in important things. I would be buying food. And instead, I'm just here like, what if I get four twofold standees and an art book and what else did I get? I've got physical copies of a lot of the Studio Elan games as well that I have to show off. I've got, oh, I still haven't shown off my Please Be Happy standee that I got. I got a, like the, the three character standee for Please Be Happy, which is huge and gorgeous. And uh, basically what I'm saying is tomorrow's hand cam stream is just going to be... It's probably just going to be me shilling the Elan web store. Because <laughs> it's so nice. <laughs> Most of the stuff I have is Studio Elan stuff. It's so good. I love them. Oh, you have two of the acrylic keychains. See, I was going to order another one to have like one flipped one way, one flipped the other way. Because it's like double sided with the two characters. But then I remembered I got a keychain before like before the kickstarter happened like a while ago a while a while ago because i i test played without a voice before it was even on steam yet i've i've been involved with without a voice for a while <laughs> and 
I I was like, I already have one of the the keychains. I can just get one. And then I was looking through my stuff and I realized back in the day I already got two. I got the two. I thought the exact same thing back when I got my previous merch. So now I have three. But it's actually really nice because the new one is a little bit bigger than the old keychains were. It's it's a little bigger and the print is nicer. So it's it's really nice seeing the difference between them. But yeah, yeah, but yeah, I got the rainbow pin, but I got the rainbow pin before as well. So now I have two of them. I got two and they're so nice. They're, they're just gorgeous. Yeah, buying merch is much better than savings. They're definitely... Uh, I'm I'm here for a good time, not a long time. Who cares about future investments? I'm I'm here for the now, and right now I want pretty things. My only problem now, though, is finding places to put everything, because I have so many lovely things. I got so many nice things, and I've got nowhere to display them all. But I need to display them because they're so pretty. So I gotta work something out. Uh, you got your first one from the, the mystery bag, along with a cello wooden charm. Oh, I love that. Oh, that's so good. I love the mystery bags. I feel like, especially from a company like Studio Elan, getting a mystery bag is, it's not much of a risk because everything is so great. So you know you're going to get something great. It's, it's a really nice surprise thing to get. But yes, uh, buying trinkets make brain go brr. Yes, it, it makes the good chemicals. It's like, sad day, feeling bad, having a rough time, open box, get shiny things. Bad day, good day. I'm, I'm really, really easy to please, honestly. I'm <laughs> it genuinely has worked like that. Like, I was having a, a rough time a couple of weeks ago, and then I got a parcel in the mail that was full of nice merchandise stuff and I instantly felt better like embarrassingly fast how I just got over feeling bad because I had nice pretty things to cheer me up I'm it's nice it's nice being able to cheer myself up easily and uh, I'm excited for tomorrow as well because after the hand cam stream I'm actually going to go shopping as well I'm going out shopping with my mom I'm gonna try and find some nice clothes because it's been a while since I treated myself to some nice clothes and I kind of wear the same two or three outfits all the time. So I want a bit more variety. Plus, I I got my Studio Nekomata Verpro merch bundle as well. So now I have two new t-shirts and I need some trousers to wear them with because I don't, I don't really have any nice trousers. I don't have any trousers that I actually like wearing. All I have is shorts, which look a bit weird with the size of the t-shirt I got, because I got them like a bit oversized. And my shorts are quite short, so it kind of doesn't look like I'm wearing any when the t-shirt's long. <laughs> and skirts. I've, I've got quite a lot of skirts as well, but none of them like really match very well. I've got like a plain black skirt which kind of matches but then it feels boring so it's like I don't want black and black. Like if I'm wearing the Geist t-shirt. So yeah, my aim for tomorrow is after the stream I'm gonna go shopping. Gonna go clothes shopping. Hopefully get some trousers. <laughs> so I'm excited for that as well. But yes, uh, again though, just thank you so much to anybody who ordered my anniversary merch bundle and anyone who's bought the keychains as well the keychains some of them are still on the site as well hold on let me uh boop -a -doo -boop. boom there's a link i think uh one of the keychains is sold out but the the other two are available and there's also the the full set for the verpro eats and it's so cute it's so cute the art is adorable you can get a you can get a keychain of me with a dinosaur nugget what more could you want? Like, that's... as soon as I saw it, I actually let out a little squeal of excitement because I was I was so excited about it. <laughs> it's so cute. I love him. I love him. But yeah, the Muto charm sold out. Too popular. It's like I can understand it because it is so so pretty. But uh, I'm I'm surprised. I'm surprised it actually sold out. It means people are buying them. So thank you. 
thank you so much anyone who's bought one it really really means a lot to me it's it's like the merchandise stuff was something that I would have done for myself even if other people hadn't bought it as well but the fact that other people have bought it as well means I don't have to fund it all out of pocket so that is like the that's like the biggest profit for me and anything else from it is going to go like some of it went to the air conditioning unit and like I joke about just buying merch and stuff too but it's I, I plan to use any money I get from streaming I want to put that back into streaming in some way like it's all gonna be like to to make the experience better even if it's in the terms of like I, I use the money from streaming to take a break so that I can actually record singing and make content like <laughs> so that I have the the flexibility to do that it's really nice but yes oh sweet note hello welcome 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 on in hope we all have the very best day I hope you do as well I hope you have a lovely day thank you for stopping in I was talking about merchandise at the moment I don't know why I'm doing this now this is what I have planned for my stream tomorrow why am I why am I talking about this now this is tomorrow's topic <laughs> It's all good. Wait, yes, isn't it? You're so right. Put it back into streaming by buying merch and showing everyone on handcam. That's what I'm doing. I'm doing it to make content. Yeah. And today is now tomorrow. No, I'm not getting the handcam out yet. My desk is a mess. I need to tidy my desk first. <laughs> I'm not putting it on yet. You gotta wait. I have to prepare. There's so much. I, I genuinely am amazed at how much cat fur manages to get on my desk even though tiffany never goes on my desk she doesn't like going on my desk she doesn't want to go on my desk i can count the number of times she has jumped up onto my desk on one hand in like the 11 years of her being alive she doesn't go on my desk and yet it still gets covered in cat fur it's i don't get it I don't understand it, but it's, I, I think it's just like an integral part of having a cat. <gasps> yeah, the Saizaki, hello. Yeah, if, <laughs> if everything you own isn't 90% cat fur, do you even have a cat? It's so true. Um, oh, unless you have like a, a hairless cat, like a, like a Sphinx cat or something. But yeah, I, I, it's one of the things about having a cat and especially because Tiffany as well, when it's cold, she gets so fluffy. She grows so much fur over the winter. She gets really fluffy. And then as soon as summer kicks in, all of that fur starts coming out. And we will just be walking along, walking down the hallway, and then suddenly there's a huge clump of fur in the middle of the crowd. <laughs> so she's just shedding fur everywhere. But it's okay. She must be warm. I'm glad she is shedding it. I'd rather that than have her overheat but yes but thank you for pouring dice on my head as well I I kind of like I acknowledged it happening and then I just kind of just let it happen I kind of zoned out and was just like yeah I'm having a, a, a shower of dice is just a normal thing right hold on let me roll a d20 let's see what you get d20 you got a 15 that's good that's a decent roll I wonder what I would get. I'm going to roll it for myself. That's a seven. It could be worse. It could be worse. I'll take it. I've, I've got bonuses. We're fine. <laughs> oh, your cat who isn't floofy sheds so much. Reckon he uses most of his energy growing and shedding fur. <laughs> oh, cats. Yeah, it's, it's just a part of how cats function, I guess gotta be hard having a fur coat that you can't take off especially when it gets really warm as well but anyway i digress i will talk more about the merchandise tomorrow when i do my hand cam stream which i'm very excited to do because i just i i wanted to do a hand cam stream but i've gotten so used to doing lego ones that a little part of me was like well i can't do a hand cam stream yet i don't have another lego set i don't have any lego to assemble and then I, I had a moment to myself when I was making my schedule. I was like, I don't need Lego. 
I don't need Lego to do a hand cam stream. I can just turn my camera on and stick my hands out. I don't need to be assembling Lego. So I'm doing, I'm gonna do it as a, like a, a chatting, sharing things stream. It's gonna be my little show and tell. I'll be like, hey, look at this merchandise and this merchandise and this merchandise and this merchandise. It's not gonna fit on my desk, but I'm excited for it. It'll be nice. Oh, it's been too warm lately. Yeah, it's it's definitely getting into summer now. It's definitely the time of year where you're like, yeah, this is this is summer. It's summer now. And I'm I'm just waiting for winter to come back. But, oh, it's gonna be like the home shopping channel. Yeah. I'll be like, check out this lovely merchandise. Check out the studio Elana Web store if you wanna buy it yourself. Use code Lyri for 10% off. <laughs> It's, I'm, I'm so glad I became a bellflower for Studio Elan because they are the easiest company to shill for because I genuinely just love everything by them. Everything they make, everything. I love it all. It's the easiest thing to sell because I truly believe in the product. <laughs> it's the kind of thing where like, I've actually been offered quite a few sponsorships before in the past and I've always turned them down because it's something that I wouldn't be interested in myself so I don't feel like I'd be able to promote it to other people if I wouldn't like really appreciate it myself but the second I was asked about being a bellflower for Studio Elan just instantly yes the most instant yes I didn't even think about it <laughs> anyway let me get comfy let me get ready oh <laughs> Monster energy drink needs to sponsor me. That is the dream, honestly. That's the that's the lifelong dream. <laughs> but sadly, Monster Energy only seems to sponsor the military, the army, or uh, extreme motorsports. And I'm not part of either of those. So, uh, not quite... <laughs> Not quite on the cards for a monster sponsorship, I don't think. But it's okay, I just continue to dwink the dwinks. Because they taste good. See, it's like, the, the problem is, Monster doesn't need to sponsor me because I do it all for free anyway. <laughs> so they don't actually need to. Ah, oh, it would be the dream though. Anyway, I digress. Let's continue. I am so, so excited to start Caprice's route because like, like I said at the very start of the stream, doing Millie's route was really interesting because I vaguely knew of Millie, like I had met her in First Snow, but I didn't know much about her and I didn't know anything about the rest of the writing club. So I went into it not knowing anything about the dynamic, anything about the characters and learning it as I went along. But with Caprice's route, because I played the prequel first Snow, I already know all of the characters in the art club. I know their personalities, I know what they're like, I know how much I love them already. So it's going to be so interesting seeing which direction things go in. Like seeing how Alison and Eileen are doing, they seem to be doing well, I hope they are still doing well, I love them, I love those two. I support those two with my entire being. And Wallace as well was like, Wallace was like the most... I remember in First Snow, I was really unsure of what to think about Wallace. But as it went on, it was just like, oh, there's... He's, he's a great guy. He's just doing his best. It's like I may disagree on the, the hunting guns part of things, but Eileen is also involved with that too. It's... It's fine. It's fine. I'm I'm British. I don't get the US hunting culture. That's okay. It's all right and I won't hold it against them. But yeah, Wallace is so great. It's like him and Eileen have such a sibling relationship and I love it. <laughs> but I I just I think like I I really really have a soft spot for Alison. I I think she's such a sweetheart. I want to just like pat her on the head and put her in my pocket run away with her and but but Eileen can come too like I wouldn't run away without Eileen as well <laughs> but I'm mostly excited to explore Caprice too because she is just 
such a lovely bundle of joy and enthusiasm. And after Millie's Act 3, I, I really want to get to know her so much better. I want to explore the depth of her more. <laughs> I, I keep accidentally making, like, water puns. Like, I am utterly delighted to explore the depth of Caprice's character. We're gonna have a whale of a time! <laughs> I gotta stop. I gotta stop. I must stop. Ah, gonna be honest, once Twofold was fully in your hands, you may have Loki kind of immediately retcon the hunting thing. Oh, okay. Well, now I just love him even more. Just, just like, it's just the family business unspecified. <laughs> oh, okay, that, I, that actually makes me very happy. Thank you for saying that. Because <laughs> that was like the... Like, I'm trying to think, that's the only real part of Wallace that I kind of side-eyed a bit. Oh, and when he was, like, making weird comments of like, oh, you're just eating, like, rabbit food, you're not having, like, real food. I think that was another moment, but it's like, I could tell it wasn't from, like, a place of malice. So it's like, I, I still like him. But Wallace is great. And I really love that we have all the different aspects of art going on here. Like, if Alison goes for more, like, sculpture-type art, and then we've got Eileen with the traditional art, and Wallace with the digital art, and Caprice bouncing around doing everything. <laughs> the graphic design, I guess. I did like her posters. Anyway, let's start Act 1! My last class of the day passes in a blur. I don't think I could honestly say what the topic was about, but since it was just computer literacy, it probably didn't matter anyway. <gasps> thank you, Autumn Tan. Thank you for the hydrate. Welcome, welcome. Yes, sip to begin. I have a sippy of my monster to start the stream, but welcome in. Act one time. I'm. I'm ready. I'm so ready. Am I ready? I might not be ready. I don't need to be ready. It's Caprice time. Nobody's ever ready for Caprice. She bounds in. You, you, you're you, brought along. Diverting myself from my usual course towards the bike racks, I head towards the art building on the other side of campus. I try not to bump into the streams of people leaving or entering the campus, either escaping towards home or hurriedly rushing to their clubs, but it's a fruitless endeavour. It's been two weeks since the art club orientation slash pizza party. Since then, the meetings have been even more scattershot than I'd expected. Both times, Caprice either left early or rescheduled at the last minute for another day. In the end, it doesn't affect me too much since we trade notes in class. Still, my worst fears about the club being so casual are coming true, and as I make my way towards the next meeting, a feel of dread hangs over me. What even is readiness, really? Yeah, I, I don't know. Who needs to be ready? Always be ready for anything. Even the most prepared person can be taken off guard, so nobody is ever truly ready. <laughs> but welcome, welcome. I hope you're doing well. Hey. Oh, Haley. Lost in my thoughts, it takes me a minute to register when Haley calls out to me from a few steps behind. Oh, uh, hi. Unlike usual, Haley's headphones are already slung around her neck, like she was expecting me. Off to the art club? Yeah. Uh, well, I hope so. I'm not sure if it'll happen today or not. Fingers crossed. Oh my goodness! 19 month resub! Oh my goodness! Hi Maya! Thank you so much! You're not late, are you? No, don't worry. Don't worry, you should know by now. You can arrive like an hour into a twofold stream and I've just started. <laughs> don't worry, you're not late! Thank you so much for the resub for 19 months! Welcome in! Headphones are down. Haley wants to talk. What is this about? Well, it's probably about Caprice. I'm ready. 
It probably won't, yeah. Oh. Sorry to break the bad news. Man, I really picked the wrong club, huh? Uh. It's okay, Olive. You would say that if you joined the other one as well. Haley's expression shifts to something slightly more emotive. Disappointed. No. Either choice has its own issues. The Reading Club is barely holding together, too, since Darren left. Oh, oh that makes sense. Like, I, <laughs> Olive being there definitely helped Darren to be in the club. Sorry, I need to move my chair closer. Olive being there definitely held a huge part of Darren actually being in the club. So that makes sense, but that's just making it even more devastating. <laughs> Uh, oh, again. Darren quitting isn't exactly a surprise, considering the circumstances. Knowing him since high school helped to keep the atmosphere a bit more manageable overall. Being stuck between Heather and Millie is a pretty solid deal breaker. I look at Haley, who gives me a non-committal shrug. She looks almost as downtrodden as I feel. I joined to help keep the numbers up, oh, but Haley. there's no helping the attitude of the other members. Oh no, Haley. Look, I know it's probably weird coming from me, but if you could give the art club an honest try, it'd really help me out. Oh? Ah, okay. Twofold Tuesday at 2pm. Yeah, there's so many twos here. So many twos, uh, and we are in 2024, which has two twos in. I was trying to look at the date. There's no twos in the date at the moment, but that's that's okay. Uh, and, huh? Is that two to the power of three? Two cubed? Two, two by two by two. Oh, that is eight. And it's 8 a.m. for eight. you. Ah! Eight. <laughs> eight. Yeah. I have that one available as a sound button. <laughs> it all works out. There's so many twos. Eight. Hi, Timochi. Or should I call you Timochi? Tim. No, I shouldn't. You're, you're Tim. Uh, welcome, welcome. Welcome into Two Fold Tuesday. I've not progressed very far yet but i'm finally playing the game now thank you for the eight doot gym eight gym doot but yeah this is i think this is Haley being really worried about caprice <laughs> i'm not following and Haley doesn't seem to mind if i do or not Caprice is doing her best. She won't let you fail your semester. She's just got a lot going on lately. Uh, yeah, she is. She's worried about Caprice. Uh, I love Haley. I'll keep that in mind. What's going on exactly? A lot. <laughs> I can call you anything I want. Anything? Anything? I say that like a threat, but I I would not be able to say anything mean. Like I, I was gonna think of like a, a jokey mean nickname, and I can't even do it as a joke. I would feel too bad. Tim. Tim Tams. No. <laughs> I like Timochi. It's a good name. I shouldn't really be the one to tell you that. Yes. Very true. Great. Haley puts on her headphones, clearly ending the conversation, or at least putting an end to any more questions. I gotta go. See you. Okay, bye. Good talk. Okay, but yep. And you're gone. Yep. Haley turns a corner out of sight, clearly in a rush to get somewhere. I rub my eyes, willing myself to not turn around and head home for the day. Whatever her reason, if Caprice is going to call off the club for today, I should at least show up to say I did.
Walking down the hall and up the stairs, I try to repress whatever feelings of anxiety remain. I'm out of options and there's no going back on my decision. This is my best bet. For better or worse, I need to make the most of it. Before I even reach the door, I can hear the muffled sounds of Caprice's energetic shouting. The people in this building really have to deal with this all the time, huh? <laughs> I open the door as quietly as I can. Yeah, I, d I don't think Caprice has an indoor voice. She, or she, she does have an indoor voice. It's just the same as her outdoor voice. <laughs> Experimentation! Let it flow through you. Let the medium speak to you. She seems excited at least. Hi, Akira. Welcome. Welcome on in. Come on in. The door is open. Join the club. We're joining the art club. How's it going? Thank you for the head pack too. Uh, sorry, I can't sit comfortably today and I don't know why. There's something up with my chair. I don't know what it is. Do I just need to... Oh! Oh, I just needed to move the headrest. Oh, I'm good. I'm good. I'm fine. I've realized what it is. You, you know how I got a cushion to sit on at the start of the stream that then boosted me up? I did not move my headrest to also match my new boosted height. And that's what the problem was. I just needed to adjust my headrest. Oh, that's so much better. Oh, there we go. Okay. Oh, thank you for the hydrate too. Let me have a sip of my monster. Monster energy ultra fiesta today. Honestly, as well, though, the, the teal of the can, it kind of matches Caprice's jacket. It's very similar color-wise. It's the more like aqua blue, which makes sense with all of like the aquarium water otter stuff. <laughs> okay, now what, what are we experimenting with now, Caprice? What is, what is the plan? Hold on, sorry if there's creaking. I'm adjusting my mark stand. Okay. I think I'm good. <laughs> Sounds suspiciously like a free study period. Mm. Uh, well, that's exactly what it is. You have to fly the nest sometime. When I close the door, it closes with an audible click, loud enough to make Caprice's head turn like a cat who just spotted a mouse. Olive, welcome. You're late. I love that. I love that expression. <laughs> I love that expression. <laughs> I love all these expressions. Oh, this is great. Oh, you just got home and on the way you thought you should have hydrated more before going. Oh, oh no. It's, yeah, it's so important, especially when the weather starts getting a bit warmer. It's very easy to forget to hydrate until you feel thirsty. And I, I feel like whenever I start feeling thirsty, I know that's when I'm already slightly dehydrated. <laughs> it's like if I'm feeling thirsty, I know it's gone too far. And then I got to chug loads of water. Which I don't really like doing. So I don't, I don't like just drinking plain water on its own. But sometimes, sometimes I must. But yeah, I love the little gremlin face. <laughs> Caprice, thank you. Sorry. Up at the front desk, art supplies are scattered all over the desk. Everything from paint tubes to crayons to glitter glue. Oh dear. Did I interrupt you? Yes, with perfect timing too. Come sit. I'm good. Whoa, what a cold response. Did you have a bad day? <laughs> Speaking of water, you should fill your cup with water for the first time today. Yes, and then drink it and fill it for the second time. Yes, it's a good plan. <laughs> Yum crayons. <laughs> Don't eat the crayons. It's okay, no one Caprice there, the, the non-toxic type. I could definitely imagine her chewing on a crayon without realizing it, to be honest. I'm having a bad afternoon. <laughs> per usual. Huh? 
I thought it's been pretty nice so far. Oh, bless her. An Eileen bad is an average Joe's great. Allison giggles, and Eileen closes her eyes in possibly mock frustration. Even if she is sincerely upset, it melts away instantly as Allison shuffles closer to her, muttering something about their dinner plans for late. <laughs> uh, how to deal with frustration. Gay. Tried and tested. Give it an honest try. Well, Haley, here goes nothing. So, what's with the table? Something about a free period? I was actually hoping to review the lecture from last week. <laughs> a scary glint catches in Caprice's eyes as she pulls her hat down slightly, shadowing her face. I don't trust that expression. That's What is what is she plotting? What are you plotting? Also, I'm my my model is leaning slightly. Give me a second. Okay, there we go. <laughs> Goblin energy overload. I love it. But yeah, I also love how like Eileen is this like super tough super strong, stoic kind of woman. And then Allison sidles up and she's just like, don't worry, you can have dinner. And and then like, just like smile up with that little face and Eileen's just, the, 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 the cold exterior has just vanished. I love it, I love it a lot. You walked right oh. into my trap. Last week's lecture was all about artistic choices. Why does an artist choose dry media over wet? A 2D painting over a 3D sculpture? Ha! Ah, I see, it's related. Clever. Also, hi, Mama! Happy Twofold Taco Cat Tuesday! I still have no tacos, unfortunately, but I do have the Twofold. And I do have the Tuesday. <laughs> but welcome, welcome! How's it going? I'm not really understanding this second time around either. A true Renaissance artist was experienced in many forms of art. Each and every medium has unique capabilities. I love these little chippies. Oh, they're so capris. I love it. Oh, you joked about choking the 25 fluid ounces of water, but because of how often you forget to hydrate, you ironically had 12. I don't know how big a fluid ounce is. How big a fluid ounce is? Hold on. What is that in milliliters? Oh, goodness. That's like... That's like 350 milliliters. That's... Yeah, that's a lot. Good. Keep drinking. That's good. Hydration. Hydrate. Don't dehydrate. <laughs> oh, I think that's about... The size of my Sprite can... Wait, how, how big is my sprite can? Oh, my sprite can is 330 milliliters, so that's like... 11 fluid ounces? 330 milliliters in fluid ounces. 11.1, .1, so yeah, about 11 fluid ounces. That would be like if I just chugged my can of sprite. <laughs> so that's a reasonable amount to have, I think. Uh, 20 fluid is your average bottle of pop. Oh, but the problem is the uh, the average is different everywhere. What some people consider normal might be different somewhere else. Because over here, bottles tend to come in like 500 milliliters. Which is... Which, that's less than 20 fluid ounces. That is... 500 milliliters in fluid ounces is... Uh, 17. 17 fluid ounces, so slightly smaller. <laughs> but yeah, it's all liters and milliliters here. Uh, use a shaker cup as your water bottle. Oh, that's probably a good way of measuring it. Measuring how much you drink. It makes sense. Yeah, my, my can of monster is 500 milliliters. So that is the... Da, 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 da. 
17 fluid ounces. But yeah, I really like liters and milliliters because they're, they're so straightforward. It's just like you have a liter of something that's a thousand milliliters. Most bottles of drinks are like 500 milliliter bottles. If you buy a big bottle of pop, it's like two liters usually. It, they're all like such round numbers. It's so easy to measure things. <laughs> anyway, back to art. The best thing to do to understand these artists is do. Do everything. Putting her hands on her hips, Caprice looks at all of us like a captain at the helm of a ship, unwavering to the rocky waters ahead. I have things to do today, so it's up to all of you to support each other. Mostly all of them. Okay, yeah, so she's running off again. I see you. What? You're leaving? All of you. Yeah, I love the way she said all of you, and it sounded very much like Olive. <laughs> Counting on all of you to support each other. <laughs> and Lyra, hello! Welcome, welcome. Welcome to Twofold Tuesday. And of course she's leaving. She has stuff to do. I know Haley told me to expect it, but it's hard not to be disappointed all the same. Caprice turns to me, bowing her head and lowering her voice to speak to me directly. I'm really sorry. I'm not usually flaky. I just have some family stuff to do. Oh, yes, she does. <laughs> it is really good practice, though. Try out a few things here and see how you feel. It'll give you some insight into the strengths and weaknesses of different forms. You've been drawing mm. different cacti and plants, right? Try doing that, but in a way you haven't yet. Yeah, like, uh, cut out bits of paper and make a collage. Or... Get a black piece of paper and use chalk white on it to do it inverted. <laughs> uh, so many of Caprice's reads were improv outside of the usual direction. I love that! I love that. I feel like it's... It always says a lot about, like, a voice talent when they're able to, like, really embrace the character and just be like this is what the character would do this 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 would make sense in this situation and i really love when that's like allowed as well because i know sometimes there's a lot of like there are a lot of roles where it's like you can't go outside of the direction you can't like embellish too much it's like this is the script and you got to stick to it so i really like when there's like the the freedom there uh <laughs> The Renaissance voice wasn't originally in the plan. You had to make the chibi just because you wanted to include it. I love that. I love that. The little chibis, the little voices are great. It's so perfect. It's the kind of thing I would do too. It's like when I see like quotes from things, I'll just be like, and then I shall read this quote in a um, dramatic voice because it feels dramatic and things like that. <laughs> I'll give it a shot. I, I guess. Oh, what are they gonna do? I, I wanna see Olive's artistic experimentation. That's the spirit! Nope. Oh. Caprice's phone buzzes in her pocket. She takes a moment to glance at the screen. Her smile wavers slightly, and when she returns it to its place, her voice has lost just a bit of its excited edge. What's wrong? Well, I'm off. Have a good time, everyone. Wallace, would you mind locking up my stuff when you guys leave? Ooh. Sure. Take care. See ya, Caprice. Tee. I love I love the little fingers together, like the little key. Eileen has already turned to her own bag, obviously ignoring the prompt for today as she takes out tubes of paint and well-used brushes. Caprice gives two thumbs up and hops out of the room, taking out her phone and dialing as she goes. Too late. I realize I forgot to ask her about the notes she was going to lend me. I'll have to call her later and see if she'll be up to share them before the weekend. Uh, with a sigh. It looks like I'll have to figure this out myself. I take a look at the supplies at the table, trying to figure out what exactly to try out. Um, Olive, 
Yeah? Uh, hey, Allison. I don't think I've heard my name so many times in one day. A weird thought that I push aside for now. <laughs> I know it seems like a lot, but it's a really fun segment. I remember it from last year. Oh yeah, the, the fact that Allison has already taken this course should help us too. <laughs> At least we can rely on her, she knows what to expect. Caprice brought in what she could, but if you want to try sculpting, just let me know. I have some extra clay with me. I know where this is going. This is going to be the three choices. This is going to be the three friendship choices. And I'm going to have to make a decision, and I don't want that. Oh, uh, sure. Uh... Thanks for the offer. Allison gives me a reassuring smile. Without another word, likely to give me time to think, she takes her own supplies off to a table next to Eileen. That just leaves... As my eyes fall over to Wallace, he meets my gaze evenly. I notice he doesn't have a single thing with him in the way of art. Instead of his usual tablet and laptop combo, he's holding a notebook and ballpoint pen. I'm not drawing today, so I won't be much help. Oh? No worries. Do you have an art block or something? Far from it. Writing. He's gonna be writing, isn't he? He gestures with his notebook as if I'm supposed to glean some important information just from the cover. All it says is roughs in poor handwriting on the cover. What's it, what is that supposed to even mean? I'm going to be planning out the next chapter of my comic. Wait, comic, oh, yes! Comic, comic writing. Oh, that makes so much sense. And that combines the, like, the, the writing and the art. Of course, of course. I'm so silly. I can't believe... Of course. Of course he's plotting his comic. Of course he is. Also, Teppy, hello. Welcome in. Forgot it was Two Fold Tuesday. It's okay, you remember now. <laughs> Welcome on in. Happy Two Fold Tuesday. I'm getting ready to hopefully not make a decision because you know I'm going to be making a poll for this but I, I don't trust people to not tie it so we'll see how it goes <laughs> but welcome welcome without drawing I need to write it before I can draw it I don't know if it'll count in your case but it's pretty easy to do if you get in the headspace for it Haha. Uh -huh. I see thanks Wallace steps away to a nearby table, opening his notebook and taking out a pack of index cards. Even from here, I can see the cards have a lot of writing on them. Something to reference as he goes, maybe? Ooh. I wonder if he's, like, planning out the panels on index cards to, like, figure out how to, like, arrange them. Or maybe he's just got index cards all the time, so if he comes up with an idea, he can just jot it down and put it on a card. Well, the options are all here. <laughs> Just have to pick one. Okay. Okay, here we go. It's poll time. I'm gonna put up a poll and I trust people to not make it tie. I trust you, I trust you all. Whomst. Do we go Eileen? Do we go Allison or do we go Wallace? Boom, where is my button? I've lost my button to make the poll show up. Hold on. There it is. <laughs> There's the poll. Here we go. It's looking fairly even at the moment. I should have expected this. I should have expected this, yet still. Okay, Allison seems to be winning at the moment. She was the furthest behind for a while, and then she snuck in front. Now it's between both of them. 
Wallace slightly trailing behind. Never mind. Never mind. I should not have said anything. I should have known. Yep. Okay. I see how it goes. I'm going to go grab a drink very quickly while the, the poll finishes. <laughs> Hold. Also, Cootie, hello. Welcome. Hold on. Yes, let me let me grab another Sprite. I got a Sprite. We get another can open. Hee <laughs> hee. Oh, at the last second. The last second. Someone got a sneaky vote in. <gasps> oh, that was a tie for so long. Someone got the, the last second vote. To sneak in first with Allison. <laughs> Oh, no, oh, the hashtag, come on, Eileen. <laughs> oh, <laughs> where is that last vote's whimsy? Their joy. It's my joy. They, they, they gave me the joy. So I didn't have to get my dice out. Oh, I'll roll a die anyway. Just to see what it would have randomly ended up being. If I rolled a die, where's my D6? Oh, they're, they're all D20s. That doesn't really help for something divisible by three, but thank you. <laughs> thank you for pouring dice on my head. That was so close to being a tie. That last minute vote. Who did that? Who did that? I'm so curious. Anyway, I'm going to roll a die. So one or two is Eileen. Three or four is Allison. Five or six is Wallace. It was a two, so it would have been Eileen. <laughs> but the last minute Allison vote got in. We're going to be going for Allison first. Ah, oh, I'm so glad. She's so sweet. She's such a little sweetheart. I'm very excited. We yeah, have free study, huh? I'm at a total loss here. Also, yeah, I fixed the emotes again. The emotes work again. You can drop them on my head. I broke it for the longest time. <laughs> and it was only after it was pointed out on Sunday that I was like, oh, I should see if I can fix that. And it was actually the easiest fix in the world. So uh, <laughs> I have no excuse. There's no excuse. I was just, I just forgot to get around to it. Anyway, free study, huh? I'm at a total loss here. So, Allison's is like a block of clay. Eileen's is the easel and draw question mark with Wallace. So, if we mouse over Eileen's, it's a painting is straightforward at least. And then that's like a blob of clay and crumpled up piece of paper. Sculpt alongside Allison is sculpting is intimidating, but she's nice. That's such a cute little little cactus sculpture. And then draw with Wallace. Uh, he said he was writing, but look, I, little cactus, little flowers. They're so cute. I love the little mouse over bits. But yes, we're going to be starting with Allison. We're going to be starting with sculpture, which feels like the most intimidating option art wise out of all of these. <laughs> so let's go. Allison works on shaping a white ball of clay with her hands and a somewhat hooked tool, scraping off bits and pieces here and there. As I approach, she looks up, a bright smile to greet me. Hey, I thought I'd take you up on that offer. Yeah. Uh, honestly, I want to say as well, though, like, from Olive's point of view, I think this is the, the option that would make the most logical sense for Olive to pick. Because I'm pretty sure, like... Painting 
is like the classic art thing, but Eileen is incredibly intimidating. Wallace is really friendly, but he's mostly doing writing at the moment, and this is an art class. So I think Olive would like naturally gravitate to Allison anyway, because Allison's like such a sweetheart who's already offered to help. And it would be like the easiest option compared to the other two. So this has kind of worked out in that way. Yeah, uh, what you think is fun about this choice in particular is if you if you do Millie first, you know Eileen has a pretty direct role in the big Christmas thing, yeah. You've seen people both beeline towards her and actively avoid her for that reason. I think that's really interesting. It is interesting. It's so interesting to think about. Mm -hmm. But yeah, it's like, I, I, I really like actually that Alison was chosen here because it's the, the choice that makes the most sense like storyline wise for what I think Olive would choose in this situation. I think they'd be too scared to go to Eileen. I think they'd hesitate a bit with Wallace because of Wallace writing and not doing art. I think they would head to Alison because she's just such a friendly sweetheart who's offered to help. So it makes a lot of sense. It makes a lot of sense to me. But I also can't wait to see what blobs Olive ends up making. <laughs> <laughs> they will try. They'll try their best, I'm sure. But uh, I've I've tried sculpture stuff before. I've gotten like modeling clay and plasticine before. It is so much harder than it looks. You think it would be easy, but it never does what you expect it to. And it's really hard to make things look smooth and neat. Everything it's it's way more complex than I thought. Anyway. <laughs> That's great. Come sit. There's plenty to share. Yay! We learn together. As I sit, Alison moves over her supplies to the middle of the table. Between the assortment of bright bricks and small metal tools, she's printed out an article on beginner sculpting tips. Alison hums to herself, seemingly content to work on her piece at her own pace. Without any particular instructions, I grab a green brick and try mimicking her movements. How are you liking it? Your classes, I mean. As she says that, I remember something vaguely about her having taken the class before. With that in mind, I feel no shame in being totally honest. I wish it were as easy as it seemed on the flyer. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, I'm pretty sure Allison felt the exact same way. She laughs and nods along. Already, the little form she was pulling and shaping starts looking like a small bird. <gasps> oh, she make a bird. She make a bird. I'm... I wonder if it's going to be the same type of bird from the the zoo, the zoo visit, the 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 date, the date, uh, date bird. I wonder. I'm I'm just wishful thinking. <laughs> I know. I know. At least you have Caprice as a tutor, huh? Um... She's... well, like she said. Before, she wouldn't miss an art club meeting for the world. But now it's complicated. Is everything okay? Um... <laughs> no. <laughs> oh, that would be an adorable callback. Honestly, just... It, it, we, we know that Allison loves birds anyway, though. She... She's the one who recognizes them. She's like, oh, I know that is a, a, a wobble-necked beak bill or whatever. I don't know birds. <laughs> so it makes sense she'd try and make a little bird. It's so cute. Little blue bird. She pauses. The tail of the bird falls off. It's connection too thin. I'm not really sure, to be honest. She doesn't really talk to us about it. But ever since her argument with her roommate began, she's been sort of out of it. Uh, uh, yeah. That argument, yeah. To go from the best of friends to how they're acting now? I don't know what could have happened to cause such a rift so quickly. It's really interesting knowing this. Doing Millie's route first and knowing what has caused this is so interesting. It adds such an interesting dynamic to the story, knowing. <laughs> You're talking about Millie, right? The writing club lead? Mm-hmm. I've tried asking, 
but she just insists that everything is totally okie dokie and changes the subject. Okie dokie. <laughs> if you find out anything, let me know. We're all pretty worried about her. I'm a little surprised by how openly Allison shares her sentiments with me, a new person to the club, let alone how candidly she speaks. It's refreshing. Haley's cryptic advice from earlier still rings in my head, and hearing directly how someone feels is a relief. I give a nod. In my hands, the clay has formed into a flat, leafy shape. Allison changes the subject, asking me about where I work and what my hobbies are to pass the time. Allison is lovely. Allison is lovely, and I love her. And have a drink. I can definitely feel it getting warmer today. I think I think the temperature's definitely getting warmer here again, which means I have got to get off my butt and figure out how this AC works oh, because look, a sea turtle. I love turtles. Cuz if if the weather starts getting way warmer and I still have not figured out this AC thing, then why did I buy it? But I'm, I'm feeling a bit more toasty today than before. I may turn my fan on. Drink! Aqua. Aqua drink. Okay, I will drink. The monster. Monster drink. No, thank you for the hydrate! You know what? I think I am going to turn my fan on. So I, I apologize if you end up hearing it in the distance. But I think I, I can feel myself getting warmer. I think it would be better for me if I make sure the fan's on so I don't perish miserably. Oh, you've been having a heat wave there and you've been dying. Oh no, I hope you can cool down. I really hope you can cool down. Honestly, our heat wave was, was it last week? Was it the week before? I think it was the week before. But we had a heat wave recently and it was like, it was the main trigger for me buying this AC unit in the first place. And it's been cool for a while. It, it went cooler for a while after that. But I can definitely feel that it's warmer again today. So I think I need the fun. Okay, it's... It's a little noisy, but I instantly feel better after putting that on. Oh my goodness. Yeah, I didn't realize how warm it's getting. It is a warm day. I didn't realize. I haven't looked at the weather forecast recently. I didn't think to because it was it was raining yesterday, so I thought it wouldn't be super warm today, but actually it is a bit. Oh, that's so much better though. Hee <laughs> hee. Oh, you just went back and checked and the first snowbird was a fox sparrow. Ah. That's good to remember. Oh, it was 114 Fahrenheit yesterday. Oh my goodness, what's that in Celsius? Hold on. 45? 45? I am so glad you're alive. Oh my goodness. I can't even imagine that. Wow. <laughs> oh, I hope you managed to stay cool. Oh my goodness. Oh, that's so warm. I... I suffer so much in the heat. I'm, I'm just waiting for, for autumn and winter to come back around again. Because I, I love it when the weather is mild. <laughs> I like mild weather. I like spring and autumn where it's like right in between. Not too hot, not too cold. I think mostly autumn. I think autumn's my favorite month. Good time of year. Want a healthy streamer even if it makes some no noise. Oh, thank you, Loen. Thank you. Yeah, I think it's better to look after myself than to, to stress too much about the sound. Because especially when I've got the game in the, the background as well, it kind of like disguises the sound a bit. Plus it's like a consistent sound too. It's not just like clicking in and out of existence. So it's hopefully not gonna be distracting. Should be good. Oh, I don't even hear it. Oh, I'm glad. I'm glad I've set things up well then. <laughs> Anyway, 
yeah, I guess that's a really good point too. If anyone else has their own their own fans or AC on, the, the sound of that will drown out the sound of mine. Uh, you have a friend in California and his AC broke a few days ago. <gasps> the day he was supposed to stream. Oh no. Oh no, not in the heat. That is so unfortunate. I hope, I hope he's surviving. Anyway, back to game. We're at the aquarium. I love the aquarium. I love it. He's cute. Yeah. The two girls press their hands against the glass to look at the turtle in question, which the sign explicitly says not to do. He doesn't seem to mind lazily swimming by. They appear to be the only ones among us excited to be here. Eileen and Wallace look half interested from a couple feet away. I think I'm in the same boat as them. It's not that I don't like looking at the wonders of the sea. Just not now, under these circumstances. I originally pegged Eileen's asinine field trips remark as one of her typical grumblings. But Caprice wasted no time validating her. <laughs> I like the thought of Caprice just being like, right, we're going on an art club trip. I want to go here. So the trip is here. <laughs> please listen to the signs of the aquarium, please. Please don't tap on the glass. Please don't take flash photos, please. Please read the signs. When Caprice called me this morning to tell me we were going to an aquarium, I almost immediately refused. I'm still wondering if I should have. The last few art club meetings alone have been more of a casual hangout than anything else. And the last thing I feel like doing is hanging out when I could be studying. Still, it's about the only opportunity I've had to even speak to Caprice since I decided to join the club. So I figured I might as well go. Hey, hey, are you seeing this? Pay attention, this will be on the test later. What test? <laughs> oh, I love this club. I'm, I'm a fan of this club. I want to join this club. Test? I perk up a little for the first time since we arrived. Something akin to hope swelling in my chest. Is this a roundabout review of the last few classes we've had? I don't think she means an actual test, Olive. But I, I love how they are like the only person in the world who would perk up upon hearing there's going to be a, a pop quiz. Like, <laughs> like just excitement, just like, test? We're going to study? We're going to do boring stuff, please? Please? There's no test. Yeah. The test! <laughs> uh... Taking offense to Eileen's statement, Caprice peels her eyes from the turtle, spinning dramatically to face us. I deflate a bit, any chance of actual study, uh, actually studying, out the window. Oh yes, I'd love to join their club. Me too, I want to be friends with them all. I, I, it's like not even in like a romance sense. Like so many people play games with like romantic options and are like, oh, this, this character's my girlfriend, this is my wife. I'm just here like, I just want to be friends with them all. <laughs> I want to be their friends. I, I want to hang out with them. It would be so fun. Like always, the test is going to be the stuff we make that comes afterward. I'm expecting you to come back fully inspired. I see. Field trips are never just about having fun, huh? Of course not. She simply waves him off, returning her attention back to the tank. If you can't look at a creature in its natural habitat and become inspired to draw or paint, then you're a lost cause. Wow. These aren't their natural habitats. <laughs> True. They do what they can to emulate it. It's close enough. Look at him swim. She points again, this time to the turtle, who is making another round by the glass. He twirls as he swims past, eager to give us humans a show. And not just him. This place is filled with life. Yeah. All of it beautiful. At least one of you gets it. Let's head to the next exhibit. Okay. 
What's next? She grabs Alison's arm and the two of them pull forward. The rest of us trail behind. She gets this excited every time we come here. How often do you guys visit this place? In the past year, four or five times, maybe. She likes it. Last time I came here, I was in elementary school. And it already feels too soon, right? As if to justify her distaste for the place, she shivers a bit. I thought it was odd for her to dress this warm for the occasion, but it actually looks like she could do with another layer or two. Hey, there's nothing wrong with visiting as an adult. Once in a while. Once in a while, not, not four or five times in a while. Every few years, I could see. Doesn't the novelty wear off after so many times? Not for her. By the time we've caught up with the two, they've stopped at another tank to watch more fish swim by. Caprice points to this and that as the little things swim by, rattling off facts as they go. Allison keeps to be, seems to be keeping up with Caprice's pace well enough. Plankton, mostly. Mm-hmm, right. I love how Allison is so genuinely... just... I think she is just excited because Caprice is happy. I think me and Allison are very similar in regards of, like, if, if someone is talking passionately about something they love, then I also kind of get wrapped up in it. I also get excited. <laughs> I'm like, just if, if someone's really, really excited and happy about something, even if I know nothing about it, just like hearing them be happy also makes me happy. I can like share in that. <laughs> and it's nice learning new things too. Like I've got to say, the amount of stuff that I know about fighting games, I, I am pretty convinced I would be the absolute worst playing a fighting game but uh, one of my best friends really loves fighting games and I love to watch her play because she's really really good at fighting games and she'll like explain to me what she's doing as she's fighting and like training so I learn so much about like rollback frames and countering and blocking and like if I do this and this it builds up something to make this I'm like it's I really love hearing about that like it, I find it so so interesting it's the kind of knowledge i don't think i'll ever use but i love hearing about it because i love how excited she gets about it too like she she loves fighting games she's really good at them she's actually done really well in some tournaments recently and i i love getting like the the insider view of like the training screen being like i'm just testing this combo at the moment it's fun <laughs> yeah super nice just hearing someone talk passionately about something I think it's the kind of thing where it's like, even if you don't know anything about it, it's nice learning and it's nice, like, sharing someone's excitement. I really like that. I, I always love hearing people talk about things they love. <laughs> it's, uh, there's a word for it. Oh? Both of them close their eyes as if straining to think of whatever they're talking about. There you are! You should have told me where to meet. <gasps> oh my goodness, it's Charlie time! It's Charlie time! <gasps> oh my goodness, she shows up so early! Hi! Oh my goodness! Hi! Mom! Ah! 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 She rushes to hug the woman who approached us. The uniform she's wearing matches the other aquarium employees we've seen dotted around the place thus far. By the rest of her appearance, she's definitely related to Caprice. Were it not for the shout, I wow. might have guessed her for an older sister. Or maybe aunt. Wow. Oh, I'm so happy. I love her. I love her. Hey, here for club work? Yes, it is a club outing. Yeah, loving your friends and being excited about the things that excite them. Exactly! That's exactly it. Hi, Eclipse. Welcome, welcome. That's exactly what I love. It's like, I will I will just sit and like, if someone is explaining something they really, really love to me, I, I love hearing it. Even if I have no idea what's going on, I still love it. I, I love sharing that that joy. That it's It's nice. 
It's like sharing positivity. It also makes me so sad when people go on, like people start talking passionately about something they like and then they stop and they go, I'm sorry, I should stop talking about this now. Because like, I feel like when people say that it's because people have told them to stop before. And I always just want to be like, no, please, please keep going. Please keep going. I love this. Please tell me more. I want to, I want to hear everything. I love it. Huh. Yep. Club time. She looks at each of us, but lingers on me with a polite smile. I'm guessing I'm the only one she doesn't know yet. Oh, right, Mom. This is Olive. They're our newest member. Hi. Nice to finally meet you, Olive. You've heard of me? Finally? I glance over to Caprice, who smiles back at me like nothing is amiss with that statement. She extends her hand to shake, so I grasp it. Her handshake is gentler than I would have assumed for someone related to Caprice. Yeah, I feel like Charlie has all of the like tenderness and tact in the family, and Caprice has the raw passion and boundless enthusiasm. <laughs> Oh, wait, I seeing the axolotl fall on my head. Actually, that's so appropriate for the aquarium at the moment. I wonder if they have axolotls here. I wonder, I wonder. In the back of my mind, I remember all the times Caprice has dipped out citing family affairs. Her mom looks perfectly healthy though, which is a relief. I'm Charlotte, but you can call me Charlie. Caprice's mom, as you may have gathered by now. Yes. I don't think I'll ever be comfortable calling a peer's mom by her given name, let alone a nickname. So, hey, you guys looking for inspiration? Yeah. yeah. Inspiration. That's the excuse. <laughs> Great, check this out. She plays the part of a tour guide well, leading us all to a nearby tank, each of us following behind with various levels of eagerness. As Caprice and Allison fawn over the various fish, Charlie narrows her eyes, looking for a specific creature. Eventually, she seems to spot her prize, pointing toward a small pile of rubble. Are we gonna see the otter? 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 He's kinda hiding, but look at that guy there. We got him in recently. <laughs> Wait, I'm in the tank now. Hi. We all move closer to see the creature poking from behind the aquarium rocks. That's a wolf eel. Oh, an eel. Ooh. Oh, that's cool. He's pretty ugly. <laughs> sort of looks like this guy. Yeah. She grins at Wallace, who responds with an exaggerated scowl. See, they are, they are so, like, sibling energy. I love it. I love it. That's the kind of thing I would say to Xander. <laughs> Fish POV, you just got called ugly. Actually, I'm magnificently shaped. Thank you very much. <laughs> hey, the eel is trying his best. Yes, and he's doing so well. Glad to see I have so many people in my corner. Oh, wait, yeah, I, I love how nobody, like, denied it. Nobody said, like, no, it doesn't. Everyone was just like, well, it's okay. Just be like, it's okay to be ugly, Wallace. Tapping him on the head, even though he's not ugly at all. <laughs> the conversation doesn't even seem to register to Caprice, as she keeps the entirety of her focus trained entirely on the timid creature. He's cool. He is cool. I agree. <laughs> Actually, I'm magnificently shaped is such a power line. I, I don't know. When I was thinking of an eel, I was like, eels... They, they have, like, the cool long shapes. It was the first thing I could think of, but I, I quite like that as a line, too. Like, yes, magnificently shaped. He is ugly, though. Don't be mean! Don't be mean. What does a wolf eel actually look like? Hold on. <laughs> okay. Okay, give me a sec. 
Okay. Okay, this, uh, this is what a wolf feel looks like. <laughs> okay, um... I still agree that he's magnificently shaped. I still agree. But... Okay, yeah. Yeah, I can see it. I can see it. <laughs> Why did I just put up another picture of Wallace? <laughs> no, it needs glasses for that. Hold on, can I... Give me a sec. Hold on, what kind of glasses is Wallace wearing? There we go. There we go. Perfect. Perfection. We've got Wallace and Wallace. <laughs> Elis. <laughs> We've got Elis. Yeah, uh, ugly, I say, with the most affection in my heart. <laughs> Looking good, Elis. <laughs> What if I just leave this up here for the rest of the stream? <laughs> there we go, that's our mascot for the stream now. <laughs> anyway... <laughs> where were we? <laughs> oh, I don't know. I did not expect the wolf eel to look like that when I looked it up. That, that definitely took me by surprise, but... Oh, magnificent. He is ugly, though. I, I guess... Beauty is in the eye of the beholder. I'm sure there's somebody out there who thinks that wolf eels look so cute. But it's not my... Not my personal... Um, appearance... Cuteness... Rating. What am I even trying to say? I don't know, let's just carry on. Totally. <laughs> yeah. He's also not really an eel. Oh? Oh, is it a fish? What? He looks like one. What makes him not one? Is he just like a long fish? Rather than turn to Charlie, Caprice leans further into the glass, trying to dissect the not actually an eel with her eyes. Something to do with gills, or... <laughs> You're gonna have to be the one to tell me all that stuff. Ah. Oh, wait, I see. He has little fins behind his head. Ah ha ha! Yeah, the little fins. You can see them. Also, thank you so much to. Um, the credit down there, um, the underwater photography guide. Thank you for whoever took this photo of Elis. Thank you. I, I, po I need to post the credits for the image that I'm borrowing to stick in the corner. <laughs> It's just like the, the one that showed the face the nicest when I quickly googled it, so... There we go, you stay up there. But, oh, we're learning about fish! We're learning about eels! Nice! He looks like the moon superimposed on a fish. Wait, you're so right. That's like a moon fish. That's the kind of face I would imagine the moon to have. You are so right. No one else reacts, but Caprice looks extremely pleased with herself as she stands up straight. You know, like a fish? He's a really long fish. I was right. I'm so smart. <laughs> Are eels not fish? Rather than show off how ignorant I am about the classification of marine life, I'm more interested in how Caprice knew that in the first place. Are you studying this stuff alongside art? Both Caprice and her mom turn to me in response. While Caprice looks a bit confused at my question, Charlie is beaming. Yeah, long fish. Long, long fish! <laughs> she didn't say Caprice here is gonna be a marine biologist. Why she got the little pouty face on? Why? <laughs> 
Why is she about to get this? <laughs> oh, there we go. Get a smile. She pats her daughter's shoulder with pride. Caprice looks a bit sheepish. It's what I plan on studying in university anyway. Oh, I, I love how she's so shy here. She's so shy. She's usually so confident, but like talking about her future plans and what she wants to do, she's a little bit like, well, it's what I want to do. Oh, I love it. Yeah, the smartest character of the main cast. Yeah, I, I have no doubt at all that Caprice can do whatever she sets her mind to. She is so powerful in that regard. She puts her energy into something. She's going to put all of her energy into it. She, she doesn't half-heartedly do things. And she's so passionate about all of the sea creatures and the aquarium. It it makes so much sense. I keep looking. I keep looking at this wolf eel in the corner and distracting myself. Maybe this is a bad idea. No, it's fine. It's staying there. These two seem to get along well. Like mother, like daughter. Mm-hmm. <laughs> no, she's smarter than me. I just memorize scripts and whatnot. Though you can't work here long without learning some stuff. Yeah. I'm more about marine mammals, though. We should go see the otters next. Yes, I want to see the otters. Yeah, I've been looking forward to it. Yeah. You might want to wait. Feeding time's coming up soon. Feeding the otters? I want to feed the otters. I want to... I. This is the kind of stuff I really love. Like, if I go to a zoo, an aquarium, anything like that, I love watching when they're feeding the animals. I will always wait until they're feeding the animals. I love it. I love it. There's just something so nice about seeing an animal, like, wolfing up some fish and then looking very happy and pleased with itself. It's very cute. I love it. <laughs> so it's not a wolf eel, more like a wolf fish. Wolf fish? Wallace? Wolf Wolfus? Wolfus! We've got Wolfus in the, in the corner. It's a wolf eel Wallace. It's a Wolfus. <laughs> Speaking of feeding time, if we're going to be waiting anyway, we may as well grab something to eat. Yes. I'm on my lunch break. We can all go together. Yay! The aquarium has a little sea-themed cafe. More a cafeteria than a restaurant. The menu items have various aquatic names to mask the fact that it's all bog standard food. <laughs> yeah, it's like these these are not just um, chicken nuggets. These are uh, golden coral nuggets or something. <laughs> just be like, uh, you want some fish fingers? How about some um, golden fin breaded sticks no i'm i i can't think of names i would <laughs> don't let me make a menu i don't know what i'm talking about oh wait i wonder if they have if they'd be able to do like nuggets but in the shape of fish like fish shaped nuggets that would be cute that would be very cute <gasps> cafe of the deep haha <laughs> i stand next to caprice as we serve ourselves at the tiny salad bar or rather, for the first time since we arrived, Caprice has slowed down. Specifically to stand next to me, it seems. <laughs> Lurie shaped nuggets. That, I feel like that would be a bit too complicated. I don't think you'd be able to get that much detail into a nugget, but it would be really cool to have like, cat girl face shaped nuggets. It would just be like, oval nuggets with cat ears. Maybe like the the bobbed hair to go with it. Like, what what shape would that be? Let me just draw it on Elis very quickly. Oop! I guess it would be like that shape, like that kind of shape of nugget. That that could be quite cute, but I feel like it could also be mistaken for so many other things as well. There we go. <laughs> but uh, Caprice has slowed down, specifically to stand next to me, it seems. Are we finally going to get to talk to her? Hey! Hey. 
She speaks in a sharp whisper like she's telling me a secret. How are you enjoying it so far? Huh? Enjoying what? The aquarium? The club. No, the aquarium, yes. She nods earnestly, glancing back at our group a few paces ahead of us. It's... well... it's nice. Yeah. <laughs> it's... it's nice. It would be nicer if I wasn't fretting about my grades and passing the year, but it's, it's, it's nice. It's the best! I love how excited she is. She's so excited about the... about the aquarium. It's really sweet. But... Um, oh. I wanted to make sure you're actually having a good time. I know I haven't been the most reliable person to you lately. Mm, I love Caprice. I love Caprice. <sighs> She's so sweet. She smiles a bit distantly. I guess my reluctance to join the f to enjoy the field trip has shown more than I thought. Or she's better at reading people than she lets on. Yeah, I think she's... She's really good at reading people. She... She can tell when something's wrong. I think even if someone said, I'm fine, she would still know if there was something wrong. Caprice's problem comes in trying to uh, make it better. And not considering how a different person would feel better with something different to what she would think would make him feel better. But she is incredibly perceptive, though. She she knows so much. She catches on to so much more than people realize. I really, 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 really like Caprice a lot. I really, really, really like her. I mean, it hasn't been all bad. The club has been perfect for catching up on the practical assignments. But I would really appreciate any help with the exam portion, too. Yeah, the actual studying. Absolutely. Our next meeting will be extra crunchy. You'll see. <laughs> what does that mean? Crunchy? Why is it going to be crunchy? Crunchy? Uh, uh, okay. Anyway, okay. I really appreciate you giving it your all, including coming here. I have to beg Eileen and Wallace to tag along for these sometimes. <laughs> no, I, I feel really bad for her. <laughs> she laughs a bit, despite the fact that it doesn't really sound like a joke. Still, I give her a smile in return. Yeah, <laughs> Caprice about to lower the graphics settings on the art club. <laughs> yeah, just be like, hey, we're gonna deep fry some JPEGs today. <laughs> also, Jack, hello, welcome. Am I feeling crunchy today? Um, I am not, thankfully. I don't think I'd want to feel crunchy. But uh, welcome on in, welcome, it's Two Fault Tuesday. We're at the aquarium. Um, Caprice is trying her best and I love her. And we have Wolfus in the corner. This is a wolf eel with Wallace's glasses on because they look the same. Anyway, uh, <laughs> still, I give her a smile in return. We finish piling up our salads and find our seats at Charlie's table, with the other three in our party offered another, quietly chatting amongst themselves. So, Olive, have you ever been here before? Kind of. <laughs> like I told Eileen earlier, the last time I was here was in elementary school. Caprice loved this place as a kid, <laughs> couldn't get yes. enough. Embarrassing stories with mom, yes! More than now? More than four to five times a year? She would drag me here. There was nothing I could do. Yeah, yeah, the lady doth protest too much. <laughs> yeah, right. You begged me to come. Oh. oh, crunchy is how you feel every time you wake up from sleep or a nap that went on a little too long. Oh, yeah, I I can see that, actually. Yeah, that, that is kind of crunchy. No, I had no choice. Sure, sure. Given her enthusiastic invitation this morning, it's hard to buy Caprice's case here. I couldn't just leave you at home. <laughs> you did love it, though. It's alright, I guess. A solid seven. Maybe an eight when the winter decorations are up. Oh, She's not fooling anyone, not even herself. A fact she's willing to quietly admit with a smile. 
The way these two effortlessly bounce off each other is something to be admired. And I can't help but match hers and Charlie's grins, albeit considerably smaller. There's a question that eventually creeps into my mind that causes my smile to waver a bit. But if it's anything like my own situation, it might get awkward were I to ask. Yeah, maybe maybe not um, the, the father question, I'm presuming. There wasn't always someone around to watch her for me, so I'd take her to work sometimes. This place was pretty accommodating, thankfully. Mm -hmm. she, answers, she answered my question without the need to bring it up myself. Charlie's demeanor remains unchanged, so at least it doesn't seem like too much of a sore spot. I get that. My mom had to bring me into work now and then, too. I guess our family lives weren't super different growing up. A small, vague feeling of melancholy flickers in me for a moment. Though I don't know whether it's for myself or Caprice. If it wasn't mom bringing me in for work, it was grandpa driving me up here just to visit. Oh. I was raised by the sea. <laughs> I love how she says that so dramatically. Yep, she tilts her head up slightly, bringing the back of her left hand up to her forehead in a dramatic fashion. And this junky cafe food. Charlie frowns for a moment as she stirs the small bowl of soup in front of her. Between that and the salads Caprice and I opted for, we ended up getting the most sophisticated items on the menu, which says altogether way too much about the meal selection here. Things are changing now, though. How's Mike? Oh. Oh, she's bringing up Mike. We're gonna learn. We're gonna learn things. He's fine, thank you. How's Millie? Have you tried talking to her again? Ah. Ah. Um. Um. Uh, so anyway, when's order time? Something that looks like genuine disappointment finally makes its way to Charlie's face. It doesn't really suit her after seeing her smile non-stop since I met her. Caprice. Mm. You can tell she's worried and it's like, ah. Don't worry, mom. Things will work out fine. Yes. I'm sure. I believe. I believe everything will be completely fine. I sure hope so. I wouldn't want to... Mom, really? It'll be okay. Their conversations go like this for the rest of lunch. The other club members occasionally chime in from a table away when prompted. They seem to be pretty familiar with Caprice's mom... Charlie. Talking as if they're old friends. Though we had some pretty similar upbringings, I couldn't imagine bickering with my mom so much, even if it's all in jest. Although it's different than I'm used to, it's still a relationship I can understand. There's a closeness when all you have is each other. <laughs> Caprice mentioned a grandpa, and I'm sure other friends and family members come in and out throughout her life, but her core family was her and her mom. I know what that's like. When it's just the two of you, you hold on to each other as best you can. The solidarity. <laughs> Before long, Charlie declares it's almost feeding time, so we make our way to the otter exhibit. <laughs> I love that there's an adorable otter right here, and my brain is immediately like, oh my god, the women. <laughs> <laughs> oh incredible i'm i'm a caricature of myself i am i am a parody of myself it's stuck on my head um yeah there it goes yeah apparently auto mod is okay if you say gay but not plural not plural gays that's not allowed apparently well it is now i I added it. But Zarok, welcome. Thank you for the posture check hydrate and throwing something at me. Emmy, have a sip of my drink. And a sit up straight. 
Wah. <laughs> and Space Dinosaurus as well. Hello. Welcome on in. Hope everyone is well. I'm doing well, thank you. I hope you are as well. Welcome on in. How's no one said that until now? Yeah, I, I'm genuinely surprised that nobody said gaze in my chat before for it to be auto-modded because I've added so many permitted terms into my auto-mod. There is, there is the word gay with like any number of A's you can imagine. They have all been added to the, the whitelist of words that can be said. Genuinely surprised by that. Oh, I had to retcon Eileen being sensitive to the cold because Theo drew the CT first and drew Eileen in her winter outfit out of habit. <laughs> oh, I like that though. I like it. I like the, the holding on to the scarf. There's the, the little... The... Wait, wait. 41 months. Holy lesbians. 41 months? Oh my goodness. Oh my goodness, Bob. Thank you so much for the tier 2 resub for 41 months. That is so many... That is so many months. Oh my goodness. Thank you so much for the resub. I hope you're having a really nice holiday. I hope you've been having a lovely time. And Kira Baros, hello as well. Welcome, welcome. Welcome on in. You nearly missed this. No, you didn't. I've, I've still got two hours to go. There's still plenty of stream. But yay, welcome in. I hope you're doing well. Congratulations on setting up the audio equipment. Now you have the fun of configuring it all. <laughs> Good luck. But welcome in. You're having a great one. I'm so glad to hear it. <laughs> Zooming by and throwing a bottle out the window of the car. Thank you, Zarok. I appreciate it a lot. Have more of a big stretch. Make sure I'm sitting up straight. I feel like I'm I'm leaning so much in the stream. Like, I don't know what I've done with my desk setup. I need to have a little wiggle around with things later. But uh, thank you so much for the resub. Have a lovely look. Go and, go and have fun. Do fun holiday things. <laughs> but uh, I, I love how this CG popped in. There's an adorable otter right here. And my eyes instantly just zoom. Zoom. Look at the, the little blush. I love them. I love them. I'm... Ah. I'm so glad that Alison and Eileen exist. I love them. Anyway, uh, she's the one who directs the crowd to watch, explaining as a handler feeds the critters. <laughs> look at Look at the little legs. Look at the Oh, look at them. Look at them. Oh, oh I love them. I love them. I love otters. I think they're so cute. 25% of their body weight a day. Wow. Wow. When she's giving this speech, her voice is loud and cheerful. I can definitely see where Caprice gets it from. Otters really are cute little things. Even Eileen and Wallace seem interested, while Allison looks like she's about to cry from their cuteness, clutching her mouth. And Caprice? Maybe it's short for Olive, too. <gasps> Ollie. Ollie the Otter. I love it. She laughs, apparently finding this amusing. I show her the grimace she probably expects, and she laughs more. Caprice gets excited about everything, it seems. Yet, I feel like today I'm seeing her watch something she really, truly loves. Don't forget! When we get back, we're drawing otters. Or wolf eels. Yes. Yes, I want to draw a wolf eel. <laughs> Not that she doesn't love art, of course. She she definitely loves art. She really loves art. It's just, you can see this is like the top love. This is like the the thing she likes the most. And it's very sweet. Wolf eels? Now you must look this up. You don't have to. I already looked it up. This is this is a wolf eel. <laughs> this is a wolf eel. <laughs> but because it looks remarkably like Wallace, I drew Wallace's glasses onto it. But yeah, this is what a wolf eel looks like. They're not actually eels. They're fish, because you can see the fins. 
They're just long fish. But they're called wolf eels. It's an educational stream. We've been we've been having a great time. <laughs> With my classes done for the day, I make my way to the club room. At this point, it's starting to feel like part of my usual routine. A thought that scares me at least a little bit. For eel, yeah. What's not usual, however, is Caprice standing outside of the door. I pull my phone out as I approach the door just to double check the time. I'm definitely not early. Hiya. Hi. What's happening? Hey. She idly plays with a paper clip, content to ignore the elephant in the room. So, do I need to ask why we're not inside? Maybe. Oh, it's cause I forgot the keys at home today. Oh, Caprice. Oh. Good job. Proud of her. Good job. Oh, that's all. How silly of me. So is the club cancelled today, then? Or are we moving somewhere else, or...? It was almost perfectly balanced. Are you, are you just gonna like drop emotes on my head to try and balance them? What if I like stay really still, try and balance one on my head? No, 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 come back, come back, come back. No, it fell off. Never mind. I tried. <laughs> I tried. It fell. Anyway. Nah. <laughs> Just waiting on Allie to show up. Oh. <laughs> she should be around soon. I think her classes are about done. Oh, okay. I uh, didn't actually answer the question there, but... Okay. But thank you for throwing something at me. Oh, uh, does she have a spare key? Well, she can get the door open. He, we know, we know Allison's skills. There are a dozen different ways to read the sly smile on her face, and none of them seem pleasant. Oh, perfect timing! Allie! So we, we've got Allie, we've got Ollie, we've got... Wally? I... Eilie? <laughs> Caprice stands on her tiptoes, glancing over my... Uh, get back. No, I missed it. I missed it. But Gambler, hello! Thank you for the luck! Welcome, welcome. And Millie! Oh, you're so right. That's Her name is already a, an E. And Capice. Capiche. Cappy. Oh, Charlie as well is also an E ending name. So many, so many E nicknames. Oh, my, my name also ends with an E sound. I'm Liri. I've, I've, I just realized. I, d I just realized I also match the, the naming theme. <laughs> that took me a little while. <laughs> ah. Caprice stands on her tiptoes, glancing over my shoulder. I match her and spin my head around to get a glimpse of Allison approaching us. Even from a distance, her frown is obvious. Aw, oh, you thought Caprice giving everyone an E nickname, but calling Millie, who has the E baked in, Mills was the funniest thing ever. <laughs> you may have under overestimated how funny of a bit that was. No, I love that. I love it. <laughs> Just like, Ollie, Ali, Charlie, Mills. <laughs> it's great. It's perfect. Right, why, why is Allison frowning? Again? Oh, could... Okay, yeah. <laughs> Caprice tosses her the paperclip as Allison makes her way next to me. Again. Sorry. You know I don't like doing this. Especially not out in the middle of the <laughs> hall. Don't worry, we'll body block you. Nobody will see. Nobody will know. That's why I apologized. 
I love that, that Olive is just standing here. They're just like, uh, the ha? Huh? How, how can Alison open this door? How can this lovely sweet girl possibly open a door? There's no way she would know how to do something like lock picking, right? She's too sweet for that, right? <laughs> With a sigh, Alison unbends the paperclip and crouches down so her eyes meet the lock on the door. It takes until she inserts the clip into the door for me to fully process what's happening. <laughs> Wait. Shh, just watch. <laughs> Alison's entirely still, outside of her hands going through some motions she's clearly had to practice several times before. I think to move my body to try and cover her better so it's not entirely obvious what's happening if someone were to walk upon us. But Alison twists the handle and the door pops open before I get the chance. Yeah, she's clearly done this a few times already. As Allison stands back up, Caprice gives her a quick hug for her reward. Thanks! You're the best. And you're the worst. <sighs> so she says, but the two share a small laugh regardless. Where did you pick that up? Actually, why did you pick that up? Don't worry about it. Oh! Alison releases herself from Caprice's embrace and turns back around, reminded that I'm still here. <laughs> you would do a crime too if it meant Caprice giving you a hug. Yeah, I, I don't think you'd have to do a crime for that. I'm pretty sure if you asked Caprice for a hug, you would get the biggest hug. You don't have to resort to crime, please. Don't, don't feel like you have to commit crimes. You don't have to. No crimes, they're illegal. <laughs> but also understandable. Alison releases herself from Caprice's embrace and turns back around, reminded that I'm still here. It was just something fun to learn. I don't actually do it outside of playing around with locks and stuff at home, though. Sorry, I was trying to catch the emote on my head again. <laughs> and the club door? And the club door... But that's all. Yeah, only... only necessary situations. She helps with the cupboards and all the other locks inside, too! Eileen also told me the story about a vending machine. <laughs> oh, yeah. The, the, the meat cute for Allison and Eileen. Where Eileen was mad because her drink got stuck and Allison hacked a vending machine. Good times! Good times. I forgot. That was like the origin of them meeting each other. I forgot. <laughs> Thank you, Caprice. I got a little criminal over here, Pat Pat. That cat is now securely out of the bag, much to Allison's dismay. Caprice's grin is a mile wide in contrast. Maybe we should continue this inside so people can't hear. Yeah, good idea. Yes, good idea. <laughs> Alison swings the door the west the, the west of the way. <laughs> Alison swings the door the rest of the way open and is the first to find her way to her usual spot. Caprice and I shuffle in behind, with Caprice wasting no time to sit herself at the front of the classroom. Uh, the, uh, she's at the front of the classroom. Don't don't worry about. Her. It's because I was looking at the, the W of the way and the W from swing and the W just kept continuing. Also, oh my goodness, a raid, hello. Welcome in raiders, hello Husky. Welcome on in, Huskies came to visit, oh my goodness. Husky like a, like a Husky dog, oh wait, I love that. Welcome, welcome on in, welcome in raiders. How's it going? How was the, the cult of the lamb? I hope your cult uh, progressed well. I hope things went well. I hope it is a good cult. Is is there such a thing as a good cult? I don't know. It's probably fine. But hello, welcome on in. To anyone who's new here, hello. I'm Liri, I'm a pink haired cat girl from the UK and I love comfy games and puzzle games. And it's Twofold Tuesday at the moment. It's comfy story time. Uh, I'm currently playing a game called Twofold, which is 
such a great, great visual novel. I'm having so much fun with it. And um, don't don't mind the wolf eel in the top left corner. That That's just Wallace. Don't worry about it. But I hope you had a good stream. Welcome on in. Oh, thank you for the follow as well. Thank you for... Thank you for dropping a follow. I appreciate the raid. And thank you all. Oh, thank you for the raid recommendation. When I saw you post the raid message, I guessed it might have been you leading the way. It's very appreciated. But thank you for deciding to come this way. Uh, if you have to head off after your stream, if you have to go get some rest, get some food or drink, look after yourself, then please don't feel like you have to stick around. Don't feel like you're obligated to stay. But if you do want to stay for a bit, we're enjoying uh, comfy gaming times, and there are women, and it's good. It's a good game. <laughs> but thank you for the raid. Thank you. Yep, yeah, totally haven't been here this whole time. Nope, you definitely just came in with the raid. Completely. <laughs> but thank you, thank you. It is very appreciated. Bum, 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 bum. Yep, uh, Caprice wasting no time to sit herself at the front of the classroom. You know, nefarious implications aside, it's a pretty cool skill to have. It is. I, I would actually be so curious to learn how to pick locks. Because I feel like a lot of it does depend on the, the lock as well. Because I'm pretty sure the way a lot of keys work is like the heights on the key like when you put it in it evens out the pins inside the lock and so you can only make those even to the point where you can turn it if the key ridges are the exact right heights and that's how they work but if you if you can figure out a way to like get the pins out of the way and line it up with a lock pick that's how picking locks works i think i'm not entirely sure I haven't looked into it fully. I've, I've just seen things now and then. But I'm always so intrigued by how people do it. Also, Kazuya Yuki, thank you for the follow as well. Welcome in. Glad you decided to stick around. Thank you for following. Yeah, yeah, that's how that works. Yeah, it's it all depends on the locks. Like, there are some locks that work differently and have different mechanisms. But uh, it's basically about just lining everything up. So I can't even imagine how tricky that would be to do it just by like touch and feel and figuring out where, which position everything needs to be in. It's so interesting. I'm always intrigued by it. Anyway, <laughs> Alison and I continue to shuffle through our respective bags, pulling out our supplies and organizing them on our desks. <sighs> Honestly, stuff like that is in one ear and out the other for me. As soon as I understand something at a basic level, it exits my brain instantly. <laughs> the only reason that hasn't yet is because of, well, Esau. Oh, don't don't put yourself down like that, Allison. Practice is the best way to get good at something. Like if you practice in muscle memory and just like absorb the knowledge of it into your being it's the best way to learn oh and also since a lot of locks are spring based they can be brute forced with a carefully applied tap and twist at the right time i see i see why is alice in you <laughs> yeah you can also build your own key by taking a blanket a pen and keep filing and turning it until it unlocks yeah, that would take so long, though. I feel like I wouldn't know where to start with that. You'd have to figure out where the highest points need to be to begin with, because if you filed too much away, then you'd ruin your chances. That feels like it would be so tricky to figure out. But there's there's going to be like a, a method to it. There's going to be a knack to it that I have no idea about. But that is a rabbit hole I will not jump down now, because if I do, I'll end up talking about lock picking for an hour <laughs> you're welcome by the way hi <laughs> it's neat that you're just able to pick things up like that though i can't juggle my attention around to save my life nah single focus many focus i don't think that's a bad thing even if you yeah. know you can't focus on multiple things, 
you'll eventually learn to laser focus on something, right? That's that's what I just said. Allison, same hat. So true. I can't believe the, the character I most like in Twofold is Allison. Actually, no, I can't believe that. <laughs> I feel like, like, out of all the characters I've gotten to know so far, I I personally resonate with Allison the most. I, every time she says something, I'm just like, that reminds me of me. Well, it's more like, I think Allison reminds me of a younger me. <laughs> she reminds me of myself, like, five or ten years ago. <laughs> oh, same hat, neither of us wearing a hat. Exactly, same hat. I nod and shake her hand. <laughs> I finish unpacking my sketchbook and notes from class, then place my bag on the floor. Allison looks to almost be done as well, pulling out a small box of clay. Jumping around a lot makes it hard to stick with one thing. You'll be a better artist than me by the end of this. Oh, that, I, that, <laughs> that's so true as well. Me looking at all of the hobbies and plans and stuff I've picked up over the years. Honestly, I'm really glad that I discovered streaming. Being a streamer has been like the first thing I've found that I've like really stuck with and resonated with. I've tried so many things before. I'd gotten to a point in my life where I was like, I don't think there's anything that's right for me. I have to just do like a little bit of everything. And then I started streaming and I just, I kind of settled into it so easily that I was just like, no, actually, I think this is my thing. And here I am, three and a half years later, still doing it. <laughs> so it's okay, Allison. You'll find your thing. You will find your thing soon. I believe. I believe. You'll find something you want to stick with soon. I mean, you, f you found Eileen. I mean, <laughs> I mean what? <laughs> Eager to prove her wrong, I open my sketchbook and flip through what few pages I've filled in the past couple of weeks. They all seem bad to me in the moment, but to my surprise, there's at least some sort of difference, no matter how small. You'll have me beat in ceramics at least. <laughs> she exchanges a brief smile with me before turning to her box and starting on her next project. If I had her ability to multitask, I wouldn't even be in this situation, but I'm starting to feel like I can make it work. Oh, I hope you find your suit. I hope you do too. I hope you do as well. Just just keep trying things. Just keep doing things. Like the best advice I have is just if you don't feel like you have something that you feel super passionately about, just try and find more things. Just try a bit of everything. It's like even if even if it turns out to be something that you don't like super resonate with, at least you can then say you've tried it. It's an experience you've had. It's another thing you can add to your your mental list of like things I have knowledge of. And you never know, you might find something you feel really passionately about along the way. It's it's a win-win. <laughs> oh, thank you for the luck, Hasuki. Uh, yes, I hope you have a lovely rest. Thank you so much for bringing the raid this way. And I will definitely have a wonderful stream. I already am. <laughs> but yes, I hope you rest well. Thank you so much for the raid. As I get ready to start filling out a new page in my sketchbook, the door opens once more as Eileen and Wallace step inside. There you are! Okay, today's club meeting is now officially in session! Okay! Club meeting! A few days later... What are we doing? <laughs> I wake to my phone buzzing incessantly. It's not the alarm I'm used to hearing. Without leaving the comfort of my bed, I reach to grab it. Five new texts. Oh, uh, hi, oh, oh, six. Oops. There you are. Okay. I, I, I accidentally scroll wheeled. I, I shouldn't have. <laughs> Oopsie, you, you didn't see that? You didn't see that? We're fine. Bam, 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 bam. I instinctively like mouse wheeled, but it, like I mouse wheeled and it went back in the logs because I wasn't hovered over <laughs> the phone. So uh, you didn't see that, don't worry. Oh my goodness, how many texts is she sending? Caprice. 
What the heck? It is, it's 6.47 a.m. Caprice, what? Hey, wake up, sleepyhead. You don't have any classes today, right? Me neither. So when's a good time for you? For some tutoring, I mean, I didn't forget my promise. Text back ASAP or I'm charging you extra. <laughs> One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight texts. Eight texts in a row. You could have put that all in one message. Caprice, you could have put that all in one message. She is just like continuous, like train of thought. Just, she thinks a thing, she sends it. She thinks she sends it. Oh my goodness. Beep, 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 beep. Great. She's charging? When did she say she's charging for this? Hold on. <laughs> all in the span of a minute. Oh, that's how you text? <laughs> oh, see, this is how I send, like, instant messages and stuff. But if I'm sending a text message, I always make sure everything is in the message. <laughs> I don't do, like, multiple texts. Like, texts specifically for me are, like, I, I write out the whole text and send it. Maybe sometimes split it into two if it doesn't fit. But, like, this, this is how I send instant messages if I'm, like, chatting with somebody. If I'm already in a conversation with somebody, this is how I send messages. This isn't how I start conversations. <laughs> I wait until the conversation has started before I start the, <laughs> the continuous train of thought messages. <laughs> oh, it's Caprice. She could not have put that all in one message. Yeah, you're right. You're right. Also, Diviner, hello. Welcome, welcome. How's it going? Welcome on in. Uh, you either text some words at a time or like two paragraphs. Yeah, no, for me, it's like I don't start a conversation like this. Like, this is the this is the way I send messages. Like, if I'm talking to somebody, like if I look through my DMs with Addy specifically, like whenever me and Addy are talking to each other, there's like 500 messages per minute. We are just like continuous train of thought at each other, like half a sentence at a time. But it's only once we're actually in a conversation that it's like that. We don't start the conversations like that. <laughs> it's only when it's like both ways and we know we're both there. Whereas Caprice is just right out the gate with eight messages at 6.47 a.m. Huh. Because of course she is. Because of course she is. Ha. Huh. Also, welcome back, Kiroboros. Welcome, welcome. A uh, random thing, Magnum's new chill blueberry and cookie ice creams are incredible. Oh, that sounds nice. That does sound nice. But yeah, no, when I'm starting a conversation, I, I just start it with like a single line. This is like the, the mid conversation texting. <laughs> You are going to continue the bit and continually send a bunch of messages, but it's so much work. Right, I'm like, I just, I say what I want to say. If I forget something, maybe I'll send two or three. But look at this. Look at this. Why are you waking me up at 6.47 a.m. on a day off? On a day off? Why? Why? Because she's Caprice. Why? I, I don't even have to ask that. Here we go. Somehow her texts hold a new level of energy. Maybe they'd be a little charming if she didn't rapid fire them. <laughs> Just woke up. We didn't agree on you charging me anything. Yes, exactly. <laughs> Good. Brush your teeth, wash your face, take a shower and get ready to go. <laughs> the instant reply back as well. The instant. Caprice was holding her phone waiting for the response. You know. The instant response. That's so good. <laughs> Go where? Tutoring! I said that! Pay a truncheon! <laughs> I mean... On campus? No! Oh, nah. Nah, we could meet somewhere. Or maybe I could come over? <gasps> yeah, let's invite Caprice over. That's fine, I guess. Oh, wait, you could come here. Go to Caprice's place, huh? 
Will Millie be there? They're still fighting, right? Do I really want to go directly into the trenches of that war zone? I think you do, Olive. I think you want to scout out what's going on. I think they're curious enough that they want to go there. <laughs> Your roommate's okay with that? Yeah! <laughs> Don't worry about it. Everything's under control! <laughs> I love the okay got it in the middle of it. <laughs> oh, it's great. Hold on. Also, it's so funny seeing here as well. Like, every time Olive sends a text, Caprice is instantly responding. Olive's taken a little while longer to reply. Like, here there's like a whole two minutes before Olive's like, um, your roommates? And it's just like, Aah! instantly. Don't worry, everything's under control. She says it is, so it must be true. Gonna need an address. Of course! So she gives it to me, along with some confusing directions that I'll ignore and find online instead. <laughs> we decide on a time for me to come over as well. Since I work tonight, I'd like to get this done early. Oh, wink at Nink. Hello. Welcome, welcome. Thank you for the follow. Welcome on in. How's it going? Welcome to high energy Caprice time. I, I love Caprice. I also love... How many exclamation marks she adds. That's also how I show enthusiasm in texts. If I'm messaging my friends and I'm excited about something, it is, I, I, I just do like a whole line of exclamation marks. Hold on. I wonder if I can find a quick example. Give me a second. Give me a sec. I'm, I'm going to, I'm going to try and find a DM. I don't mind leaking. <laughs> just my side of it somewhere. Wemst. Oh, now that I'm looking for it, I can't find one. Now that I'm looking for it, I can't find a moment of me just... Exclamation marks. Where? Oh, maybe. Hold on. I can't find anything now that I'm looking. But yeah, I, I like I, I look at like a lot of messages with my friends. Like when I'm excited, it is all of the caps lock, all of the exclamation points. Hold on, tiny tiny snippet. Let me let me just like censor this. Let me censor this. Uh, ba -ba -ba. <laughs> yeah this is an example of how i just like chat to my friends wait where did i save this oh i saved it in my thumbnails folder why don't <laughs> It's like this. This is like how I DM people. Just like caps lock exclamation marks. <laughs> like this was me just sharing I got a portable AC. <laughs> and I always do it. It's like when I'm excited about something. I always hold down the exclamation points for a while. I, I never do just like one. It's always multiple. <laughs> I might not die. <laughs> But yeah, that's how I message my friends. <laughs> oh, and Capybarista san. Oh my goodness. Thank you for the follow. Welcome. Have I plugged it in yet? I still haven't set it up. I need to like, I need to make space in my room. I need to figure out the window situation. And I have been so sluggish recently. I haven't had like the, the mental, the mental capacity to like, figure out how to set it up but i need to soon because the weather's definitely getting warmer again so i definitely need to set it up soon
Oh yeah, wait, no, it's it's all like <laughs> It's all part of the same conversation. I could have done this whole conversation, I've just realized, hold on. This whole conversation really sums me up well. Let me let me show like the first part of it. Hold on a sec. I'm just I'm pretty sure my friend wouldn't doesn't need me to censor this. Wouldn't mind me like posting this, but I'm I'm still going to censor the name anyway just <laughs> just because I can. So uh <laughs> Yeah, it's like hold on, let me double check. Yep. Yep. Just checking I'm not, like, accidentally leaking my own personal information while I do this very quickly. Yeah, I'm safe. Uh, this is how I have conversations. Like, specifically, like, instant messaging. Ba -ba -ba -ba. It's like this. <laughs> like, this is the start of that, the, the conversation. Like, here. Like it starts like so true, dying emoji. But dot 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 dot. Guess what? Loads of exclamation points. Merch sales were good, so I've ordered a portable AC unit. I might not die. There's just exclamation points in every single message. Every single message. I get very excited. I love exclamation points. I feel like they are one of my favorite pieces of punctuation. They are so powerful, and I love them. Anyway, anyway, let me let me actually play the game again now uh, after leaking my DMs. It's it's not <laughs> It's just the most casual conversation, but I I get very excited. But yeah, the best way to be never hide emotions, chaos. I just really really like them. I just really like exclamation marks. <laughs> ba 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 ba. Yep, since I work tonight, I'd like to get this done early. Once again, she's ambushed me. Increasingly, my my desire to my decision to join her art club is filling my every day, even outside the club room. Yeah, Caprice is good at that. Regardless, I feel a strange sense of relief wash over me. She didn't forget her promise. With the finals inching closer each passing day, a promise of genuine tutoring is like a ray of light in the darkness. What the heck is Caprice's regular tutoring going to be like? Her genuine tutoring. I don't know how she would go about it. I'm very curious. From the beginning, I knew that choosing the art club meant trusting in Caprice. I need to get ready to go, which means giving my all into today's reviews. I don't know when I'll get another chance like this. My grades are hinging on it. Ooh, I hope it goes well. It better go well, I believe. I haven't gone to many other people's places in my adult life. I can't help but feel a little nervous. The fact that I might find myself physically stuck, uh, physically stuck between Caprice and Millie definitely doesn't help matters either. Tutoring Tuesday, yes! If they weren't afraid to go back and forth on campus, uh, I can only imagine the terrors that happen in the privacy of their home. Oh yeah, they, they really like went off on it <laughs> in the writer's club room. <laughs> yeah. But it's okay because Haley's going to be there. I hope. I hope she's going to be there. She's going to be leaving now probably, isn't she? Like we'll get there and Haley walks out the door like, sup, let's just go and have fun. <laughs> All this absent-minded musing has given me just enough time to pedal my way to the entrance of their complex. Time to push aside any lingering worries, Olive. From the outside, their building looks nicer than I expected. I guess that's what three people living together can afford. Oh, dong ding. I press the doorbell and immediately I hear muffled shouting on the other side. The door unlocks and swings open, and I'm greeted with the smiling face of Caprice. Oh! 
<laughs> Come on in. Come on in. The door's open. The door unlocks and swings open. Come on in. <laughs> hmm. I'm greeted with the smiling face of Caprice. Welcome. Hi. You're late. Why are you looking at me like that? Why are you looking at me like that? The face of suspicion. That expression really spreads fear into my soul, honestly. <laughs> Relate. The sudden shift in tone stings more than it should. Ah, uh, yeah. Uh, sorry, got held up just a little bit by traffic today. The smile quickly returns. Her disappointment, nothing more than a joke. <laughs> Don't worry. We'll just do double time. Come in. Oh, God, the, the double time? It's it, it wasn't double the time. It was only like five minutes. The face, the face. She did the face again. Caprice turns and bounces back inside. I hesitantly follow her lead. Now I know for sure the apartment is definitely bigger than mine. And it certainly looks lived in. In the living room, clothes and books and various items lay strewn about. Maybe I shouldn't have expected them to be tidier. Haley sits on the couch, flicking through her phone. Hello. Hello. Hi, <laughs> snack mode activated. Yeah, that expression feels like a goblin disengaging goblin mode. It's no, it's it's more like goblin enhanced. It's like goblin activated mode, which is even more terrifying. <laughs> hey. Haley's here. She won't be joining us for tutoring. Okay. I'm banned from all art club activities while acting as a traitor to the other side. Yep, I see. I try not to look too obvious as I glance around. What about, uh... Millie? She's out. Yep. Long gone. At least for a few hours. I feel my shoulders relax. That's one thing I don't have to worry about today. Not yet. <laughs> Let's get to work. I give the apartment a quick once over. I want to start making my way to whatever study area she may have planned out, but everything is so messy. Uh, where? The counter. Yes, with all that space. I see. She points towards their kitchenette, wherein lies the counter in question. It's covered in books, paperwork, and a variety of other so-and-sos. I guess that qualifies as the most study-esque place here. I wonder where they eat then. Oh, I feel like they're the type to like just take a tray over and put it on their lap and sit on the sofa and watch TV. I say as that's how me and my family eat dinner. <laughs> me and my family are very much a, like, we take dinner into the living room and watch TV together. Like, we do have a table in our kitchen, but it's... We mostly just save it for special occasions. Like, Christmas and stuff, we'll always get sit around the table together. We'll make the table and stuff. But usually we just take it into the living room and sit on the sofa with it. Just relax together while we eat. Yeah, the little altar plush is so cute. It's so cute. With that in mind, I notice their cluttered countertop and their sink full of dirty dishes. This kitchen and its contents have clearly gone to waste. Do you guys ever cook in here? Of course they don't. <laughs> cook? Not... Ollie! Ollie. Uh, mm -hmm. Looking like she's about to admonish me, she pauses for dramatic effect. That microwave gets everyday use! I see. Yeah. I'm sure. Right. Are you really sticking with that? With what? Ollie. Ah. 
yeah, it's, it's a cute nickname. Ever since our fateful encounter with Ollie the Otter, Caprice has decided the name suits me. <laughs> you don't like it? The only person who calls me that is my mom. <laughs> it's kind of embarrassing. No. It's cute! It is cute. Isn't it cute? It's cute. It's cute. <laughs> it's pretty cute, Ollie. It is cute. <laughs> I love the way Haley says that. It's like a little, like, taunt. That just embarrasses me even more. I hear this enough from Mom as is. While Caprice is being genuine, I'm almost certain Haley is playing along just to mess with me. Her little smile definitely makes it seem that way. Yeah, Haley was definitely just saying that to be a, a little menace. It's like, yeah, it's 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 cute. <laughs> I can see how much it bothers you, so I'm gonna keep saying it's cute. <laughs> Very cat-like of her, I must say. I'm just not used to it. I mean, do you really have to? Yeah, it's cute. Come on, Ollie. Come on, Ollie. Yes, it's important. You can be matches with Ali. <laughs> Super important. And Haley. <laughs> Haley's nickname is Haley, but it's written as I E at the end instead of E Y. <laughs> you know, I could imagine Caprice doing that. I could imagine Caprice sending a message to Haley, but spelling her name as like Haley I E as a nickname. Just to be silly. <laughs> it's pronounced the exact same way, but it's, it's spelled differently. I sigh. This topic isn't important enough to argue. Do what you want. Caprice fist bumps in tiny victory. She begins the task of moving things off the table and out of our way. I join in to help, but following her lead, I just place them in some other cluttered part of the room. Are you three managing well enough on takeout and frozen dinners? Well enough. You know how it is. College life. No, they don't. They don't know how it is. They always cook their own food. <laughs> if there's one thing I'm absolutely clueless about, it's college life. I don't know about that. I cook as often as I can. Right? But that isn't always an option. I can make eggs. Eggs? 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 Egg incident? It's something, at least. Caprice cannot. Eggs? <laughs> oh, tell me more, tell me more. Haley's head swivels, a small frown revealing itself. I follow her line of sight as best as I'm able. Eventually landing on the microwave, Caprice claims is well-loved. Caprice cuts my concerned gaze off by jumping between myself and the kitchen. Anyway... Ah. She pulls a chair out from under the table and gestures to it. You wait here, and I'll go grab the stuff we need. Oh, I'm just imagining an exploded egg in a microwave now. I'm just, oh. She would. Caprice would be the type of person to make a cup of tea by putting a mug of water in the microwave. I know she is that kind of person. I know she would. And it pains me as a British person with a kettle. <laughs> But she, she would. I think she would be the type. She'd be like, oh, boil water over the stove? No, I, I'll stick a mug in the microwave to heat it up. She'd use the microwave for everything. I can I can just tell. She, she gives me that impression. <laughs> when a microwave is all you have. They have a full kitchen! They have a full kitchen! <laughs> oh, valedictorian smartest character in the story cannot cook an egg. It's okay, it's like me, I can't cook either. I'm saying all this stuff, I'm making fun of her, I can't cook either. I can... I can cook noodles. I can cook pasta decently enough. I can throw frozen stuff in the oven. 
and I can use the microwave. But other than that, I, I don't have a clue. I don't know how to cook. I'm just like, if, if I can't bung it in the oven, I don't know what I'm doing. <laughs> Hi, Intlo Wiz, yeah. Max Charisma. Ha. Oh, making all your tea in the microwave just to make me feel pain. You wouldn't. You wouldn't, would you? Say you're kidding. Say you're kidding. Please say you're kidding. Please. Please say. <laughs> please say you're kidding. <laughs> please. Please say. <laughs> I'm fine. I'm fine. You can do what you want with your own tea. I'm fine. I'm not in pain. <laughs> Uh, oh, this is why your rice cooker is your new best friend. I, I love our rice cooker. We do have a rice cooker too. I can cook rice. I can put rice and water in the rice cooker and let that cook itself. I can also do that. <laughs> I love having a rice cooker. Having a rice cooker has made such a difference with so many of our meals. It makes things so much easier. <laughs> but uh, I, I love rice. I love rice. I love pasta. I, I love potato i love bread i love carbohydrates <laughs> anything with carbs i just i like carbs good foods filling foods anyway um yes um please boil water properly without a microwave for tea if you don't want to hurt my soul <laughs> Oh, I love how you're such a little menace. You're such a little menace, Rin. I love it. My favorite little menace. Well, one of them. I have I have many favorite menaces, actually. So many menaces. Anyway, um, we're going to stop talking about this. And continue with tutoring. <laughs> she bolts off, presumably toward her bedroom. I share a glance with Haley, but she shrugs. Uh, sometimes when you want water to boil faster, you put a little bit in the microwave, a little bit on the stovetop, a little bit on your electric kettle separately. Okay. That's, that's your choice, and I respect it. <laughs> I just wait for the kettle to boil. <laughs> anyway, uh, I share a glance with Haley, but she shrugs. Want a tour? <laughs> yes, give me the tour. Let me snoop. Uh, sure. You want a snoop? Let us snoop. Without moving from her spot, she gestures down the hall. Bathroom and bedrooms are that way. That's about it. You've seen everything else. <laughs> oh, that was a great tour. Thank you. <laughs> Oh, I love how many people in chat are just here like, I am here to cause problems on purpose. And you get away with it. I'm, I'm letting you get away with it. I, that's, that's my problem. I'm, I'm just, I'm letting you get away with it. You're going to keep doing it. I'm, <laughs> I need to be sterner. Please, electric kettles are so good. Please, they're so good. They're really good. I love them. Anyway, that was a, a grand tour. Thanks. <laughs> I really think I've got my bearings now. I'm not sure whether her attempt at humor is just Haley being Haley or her struggling to make proper conversation. Given the dead air that follows my response, my guess is the latter. Caprice still <laughs> struggling with making meetings, huh? Mm. Yeah, things have been really busy for her, apparently. Yeah. Hmm. You think you have enough time to catch up? Yes. I believe in them. I don't know yet. I believe in them. Do you think I made the wrong choice? No. Nah, you're right where you need to be. You two can figure it out. I expected there to be a moment of reflection before she continued, but her response was surprisingly immediate. That aside, I hope my being here isn't making things worse, at least. No, I don't think so. I was under the impression you were here to get a passing grade. Well, obviously. <laughs> But that doesn't mean I want to give Caprice a hard time. 
And here is the proof that Olive is not taking advantage. I love them. Ba, 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 ba. Uh, yours has a keep warm setting too. Wait, that's so good. That's really handy. I, I don't know if Az does. I don't know, but every time like we boil the kettle, we usually like put in an, enough water for like three cups of tea and then there's three of us in the house. So it just, we just use it all up. <laughs> yeah, oh, boiling water takes so long. You always get bored and walk away to do something else. Oh, that's, I wonder what kettles are like over there then because it, it never takes long for the, the water to boil with our kettle like it, it it doesn't take more than a couple of minutes it's really fast i guess that's like one advantage of the uk yeah it's going to be like a voltage thing isn't it because like kettles are just like a normal thing over here like pretty much every house has a kettle and the water boils really fast so like i always forget how like i, I always kind of take that for granted a little bit like i forget about it But yeah, I feel I feel like it would be too dangerous to like get a higher voltage one if like the plugs are set up for lower voltages cuz that's how you start fires. That's how you blow things up. And that's not good. But I yeah, I, I didn't even think about that. Yeah, it's like if I imagine like how long it would take to like boil water over the stove compared to the kettle. The kettle is so fast. I love our kettle. It's very speedy. Speedy water. I guess like the microwaving makes a bit more sense when I think about it in that context. I'm I'm not I'm not as offended now. <laughs> Aww, your empathy is showing. I love Haley Snark so much. Color rises to my face as she gives me a sly smile. I feel like she's messing with me somehow. Before I can say anything else, Caprice returns. Her hands are full of books and loose papers. Here we go. This is everything I have from my past art classes. Oh. Basic fundamentals, a bit of history. Oh my goodness, everything? She emphasizes by poking her finger on top of the stack. Plus some personal stuff I brought. Digging through the pile, she pulls out a floppy textbook. I recognize it immediately. I bought this I brought the same book myself. Art, what is it and much more? Did you bring yours too? That'll make it a bit easier. Yeah. It's in my bag. Yeah, study time. Oh my goodness, it's going to be an actual study session. I'm so proud. I explain as I begin taking it out along with a couple other required texts. Good. She takes her seat and pulls out a stool next to her, beckoning me to follow. Once I've complied, she returns her attention to the book in front of her. So in the club, we've been working on basic art techniques, and that's good. Yeah. It is good. But the class is also about this stuff. Yeah. She quickly flips the pages like it's a flip book. Art history, art theory, art knowledge yeah so how much do you know <laughs> probably not much uh i open the book and stare at the page i've randomly turned to i'm not sure what i am looking for in truth i've barely even opened this thing ever since stressing about it at the dino way back when caprice was right the professor hardly ever brings it up in class I had been hoping all this time to look at it in the art club, so I also put off my own independent study. So basically, they know nothing. <laughs> okay, we'll start with chapter one. Chapter one it is then. Good luck. From the beginning, it's a good place to start. Wrong again. Take another look. An important thing to look at is the values and shading. Yeah? I look dumbfounded at the picture in the book. It's some old painting. Caprice's hand covers the caption. 
not even exactly sure what values refers to. What what are values? What what is that? Does this even matter? <laughs> It'll probably be on the test. Great. Do you know the answer? Yes. Is that a yes, yes, or is that a I know it kind of yes? I give a long sigh, leaning back against my chair slightly. Why did I think this would be any easier in the first place? I feel more stupid than ever, the beginner, quest the beginner questions of the book completely escaping me. Caprice closes her eyes, refocusing herself to find a new angle of attack. Something eventually must come to her as her eyelids open and she focuses in on me. She's a smart cookie, she knows things. Yeah, I, I have no doubt she knows the answer. She probably knows the answer to all of it, but she... she... It feels like Caprice is the type that just picks things up really easily, so she probably doesn't, like, actively study as much. So I think she's gonna struggle to, like, actively teach. Because I think one aspect of teaching is, like, knowing how to study and then how to express that information to somebody else, which is like a whole other skill set in itself that Caprice might struggle with. I think she needs to think of like analogies. I think she would teach well with like examples and like, like, well, imagine it kind of like this, like that kind of thing. I think that would be a good way for Caprice to like share information. But I think she's also the type who will like go ahead with an explanation and use terms that she just like presumes Olive would understand and Olive won't know what those terms are. So <laughs> You're taking this class because you're struggling, right? Yep. Yeah, obviously. It's not like I'm against I know I'm tutoring you, but I hate asking for help. Feeling like you're unable to do something yourself is the worst. Oh? Seminars are actually really hard for me. Mm. It feels impossible for me to learn from someone else droning on and on. I want to just skip sometimes. Yeah, I think the, C Caprice is very much like a... She learns things her way and it just sinks in. Ah, for the first time ever, it sounds like Caprice is complaining. Compared to her usual dramatic grandstanding, though, this feels a bit different. Yeah, honestly, I feel like I can relate with that, too. Like, I can be told something over and over again, but I won't learn it unless I'm taught it. Like, I need, I need it to be like teaching. Like, if you just, like, say something and expect me to memorize it, I don't, like, fully learn it. But if it's like something is said and then it's explained and then it's like, oh, this is a thing because blah, 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 then it actually like sinks in. I remember the, the explanation. I'm like, oh, yes, I'm going to remember this now because I also remember that it's attached to blah, blah, blah. And that's the way I always learn. It's like all of the things I remember from school, all of the active things that I do remember, I only ever remember them when it was like a good teacher teaching me who would make it interesting. They didn't just like recite the facts. They would add little bits and be like, okay, so uh, interesting thing to remember. If you want to remember when the Great Fire of London was, uh, the Great Plague was 1665. And then the fire broke out the year afterwards in 1666. And you, if you think of it as like a plague being carried by rats and then the fire managed to like cut out a lot of that it's a way of remembering it I, it's actually really funny too because i don't even think that's true like the the great fire was not all of london and the plague was like way more far spread than that so the fire wouldn't have like ended the plague but because i then remember the rats in my head i have the connection of the rats between them that's how i remember the dates <laughs> it's <laughs> silly little things silly little things but the the silly things help me like help it stick in my head like i don't remember it unless like i have those little attachments to like hook that memory into my brain it needs to attach 
Like, otherwise, the info goes in there, it flies straight out again. But if it's got that little hook, I will remember it. The, the hook, it keeps it in there. But yeah, it's, it's why, like, when I'm learning, I always have to, like, attach things. Like, I, I have to, like, make little references, make little jokes, maybe do drawings, maybe, like, make little diagrams. That's how I remember things. All of the things I was just told in school, I don't, I don't remember them. They, they've, they've been gone for years. They, they flew right out. <laughs> but yeah. Ah. Uh, oh, your knowledge of castles. Oh, knowledge is of castles from completely from one teacher making jokes about horses being tossed over walls. <laughs> oh, that's great though. I love that. Yeah, it's always like, I, I remember things when they're made interesting. But just like lecturing and reciting and stuff, it does not sink in for me. I'm very similar to Caprice in that way. I'm not as smart as her, but I I think we have very similar learning styles. But I really want to pass all my classes too, you know? So I go because it's my only chance to learn all the stuff that isn't in a book. Mm -hmm. I love marine animals. Yes! I really want to work with them someday. So I keep trying my hardest. And even with the stuff I struggle with, I get through to the end somehow. Yeah, and the fact that she loves the animals so much means she's more likely to remember these facts because it's something she cares passionately about. That's the hook. The hook is that she loves these animals, so all the information about them is attached to that hook. You have to try your yes. hardest in everything you do. Nothing's totally insurmountable. So true, you are so right. She tilts her head, trying to her best to get the rest of the thought out of her brain. <laughs> you can tell right now she's not, like, thought through this speech at all. She's just saying everything as it pops into her head. She's saying one thing and it's making her think of another thing which she mentions. I love her for that. Follow that train of thought. I love it. Well, the stuff that's important to you, at least. Does this matter is up to you. Yeah. I look down at the pages of the book, not focusing on anything. Ming, this stuff is important. Mm. I want to pass. That's why I'm here. Come on, Caprice, make it interesting for them. It just feels disconnected from me. I don't understand how to look at fine art and understand what I'm looking at, much less how to do it myself. Mm, and that's, that's what they need the help with. So Caprice, instead of saying, what are the values here? You gotta start by explaining what values are, please. Please. Do the like, explain it like I'm five approach. Like the, the very basic basics. Even, I, I think like, even if she thinks they'd already know, she should say it anyway. Every tiny little detail. She scratches her head, clawing for an idea. You just, Sort of... feel it in your bones. That's so helpful, thank you. I don't think anyone can teach me how to do that. Sure we can, we just gotta get your bones out. Um. <laughs> hmm... Well, maybe it's just that this study method isn't good. Yeah. Not for Olive, I don't think. Got any better ideas? She scratches her head even harder. Fervent scratching stops as she crosses her arms in front of her and thought. Let's take a break. I'm hungry. Okay. Yeah, also, I want to say something now that is my own personal headcanon now. Uh, I, I am hereby announcing my personal headcanon that Caprice has ADHD. Purely because I recognize so much of myself. In the way she acts, I'm I'm now headcanoning that. I, I, I'm 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 claiming her as my my ADHD friend. I'm the... <laughs> he. Yeah, sure. She had my attention for a second there, but it seems like the moment has passed. What do you want to do for lunch? Study? <laughs> well... Oh, is it time for Ollie to cook? I I, I just started calling them Ollie. <laughs> I just called him Ollie. I just 
just called him Ollie instinctively. Oh no. I'm, I'm definitely getting caught up in Caprice's energy. I love this. I let my eyes wander around the mistreated kitchenette. I don't mind them ordering fast food, but between my small exchange with Haley and Caprice's surprisingly open speech, I feel like it'd be rude of me, as a guest, to let them worry about that today. And, well, I guess my empathy is showing. <laughs> um, Haley was so right. If you guys are okay with it, I could cook something. Okay with it? She is beaming. She is so surprised and excited. Caprice immediately lights up at the suggestion. Even when she's mostly hidden behind the couch, it's not hard to see I've got Haley's attention either. I need a clean space first. Oh, right. <laughs> Time to tidy the kitchen. We can help with that. Boxed spaghetti, olive oil, a little bit of garlic, salt and pepper, grated cheese. Some pepperoncini would be nice, but this is more than enough. This should be good enough. No one has any allergies or intolerances, right? Nope. Lactose, but I'll still eat cheese, thanks. Yep. <laughs> that checks out. Can I think of a single lactose intolerant person I know who doesn't eat cheese? I don't think I can. Every, si <laughs> every single lactose intolerant person I know is just like, oh yeah, I'm lactose intolerant, but I, I still eat cheese and ice cream and supper. And I'm like, you know what? That's your choice. Ah. <laughs> uh. Didn't she say she was allergic to greens in Millie's root? Yeah, that was that was a joke. That was like a I'm I'm pretty certain. Pretty certain that was a like a I'm I'm a child, I'm allergic to eating my greens. Like kinda joke. <laughs> huh. Uh, only if it's on burgers or things that aren't supposed to have cheese on them. Like instant ramen? I What would that taste like? Oh, hold on. I've never tried that before, but I'm actually quite curious now. What that would taste like. Oh. Hmm. Hmm. Okay. That's okay. Most cheeses. I look over and see the two of them are giving their undivided attention. Haley's expression is hard to read as usual, but Caprice is looking on with genuine interest. Uh, usually fine. In any case, just sit back. This shouldn't take very long. Okay. I set the pasta to boil. You know, this is pretty easy to do. I think you can learn just by watching. You know, that's really true as well. I feel like learning how to cook pasta, it's something that I put off for a while because I was like, well, it's, it's cooking and I'm bad at cooking and I can't do it. And then I learned how to boil pasta, and I was like, this is the easiest thing in the world. It's so easy, just like, boil water, stick pasta in, and try it every now and then until it it feels right when you bite it. You're done. Like, add stuff. It's so easy. I love pasta. Yeah, you're not a fan of the texture of melted cheese on most things. Oh, that's so interesting. Because I'm the opposite way around with cheese. I don't like the texture of regular cheese on its own. I only like cheese when it's melted on things. Like, I, I like melted cheese, but I don't like the texture of, like, regular cheese. So that's so interesting. We're, like, opposites there. Yeah, pasta's nice and easy. Yeah, it's so, it's so easy to do. Uh, when you first did it, you accidentally made enough for a family of eight. <laughs> it's so easy to misjudge. Because when you're, like, weighing out pasta, when you're, like, weighing it out, it doesn't look like much. But when it's, like, cooking and boiling and the water is added to it and it's expanding, there's more pasta there than you think. I'm still really bad at measuring. I always make too much pasta. <laughs> but I like making too much pasta because then I have leftovers, too. It's great. 
Oh, I've done it before. Oh, oh, okay, fair. I think she's just lazy. I think she just can't be bothered. But that's fair. That's fully fair. So not just eggs, huh? He. I get to work on the sauce as well, giving each ingredient a small sniff before throwing it in the pot. Not fully willing to trust the things in this mess of a kitchen. As long as the instructions are easy, I can do it. Yeah, the power of recipes. But, you know, sometimes you just don't feel like it. Yeah, Haley is so valid for that. How often is sometimes? Um... Most? I can't stop myself from sighing. This isn't really a good way to live. It's a good thing we have you! Yep. Ollie here to save the day. I'm not gonna be your personal chef. <laughs> she snaps her fingers. Darn. You seem really good at it. <laughs> she was trying. She was trying, huh? Oh, I guess you're more a fan of crumble cheeses, but they hurt your tummy. Oh, no. <laughs> uh, also, yeah, Olive says this. I, I, how, how long is that resolve going to stand? Well, that's my job. All right. The trolley diner. Yeah. You picked up everything just from that? More or less. I only really had to learn the basics for the menu, but I like to research things on my own. And I wanted to try yeah. new things for my mom and me back home. That's cool. And that sounded genuine as well. Genuine compliment from Haley. Yeah, impressive. Not exactly a gourmet chef. But you know a lot, right? And you're actually a pro. Yeah. <laughs> I don't know if knowing how to put together a BLT or scramble an egg makes me a pro. I think it does. I think you you can call yourself a pro. I think that anyone could learn to do what I do at work. Okay, but doing it well? The fact that you're practically self-taught isn't nothing, though. Some gears seem to be turning in Caprice's head as she crosses her arms again. I'm terrified at what could be coming next. Yeah! Say, Ollie, what's the origin of this dish? <sighs> Not quite what I was expecting. What? Spaghetti? She nods enthusiastically. Haley smirks at me. I can't tell if I'm being made fun of. It's Italian. <laughs> Common with tomato sauce, but you guys didn't have any. This is a little more traditional. Oh, oh, thank you for the hydrate. Thank you for the hydrate. Let me have a sip of my drink. Tutoring time, hydration time. Finally have seven and a half thousand points. Next stream you're asking for, it's not a phase. Leary, uh, Sorry, what do you mean by that? Uh, if you mean the the outfit change toggle, it's it's a it's a toggle between one one and two outfits. It's not like a palette swap. So I don't don't use the the redeem thinking it'll like change the colors too. <laughs> it's just it just swaps between my my regular outfit and my my magical girl look. But uh, you can use it at any time. <laughs> but uh, it's it's a cool outfit though. I I love both of my outfits. I love the fact that I, I, I made a design and then I made an, another design as a joke with Addy because we were talking about, we were talking about tuxedo mask of all things. We were talking about magical girls. And I went, what would I look like as a magical girl? And she just sketched up an outfit and I was like, can I use that as my design? <laughs> there it is, this one. This one! Thank you for the the outfit change redeem! And CJ, hello! Welcome, welcome! Welcome on in! Yeah, it is so funny because it started just like brainstorming a magical girl look. And I was like, I feel like if I had a magical girl look, it wouldn't be like the fluffy dresses and stuff, because that's not the kind of person I am. It'd be like 
shorts and a cloak, like a tuxedo mask kind of thing. And then like I I turned away for a few minutes, I looked back in chat, Addy's like fully sketched up a design, and I'm like, how how? How did you just how did you just perfectly create the ideal design for me? Hold on, let me let me see if I can find the sketch very, very quickly. Very, very quickly. I know the sketch is around here somewhere. Yeah, who wants to see the the the, fir the first sketch of the magical girl outfit? Cuz I've got it. I I save all of the sketches because it's like my history. Bum bum bum. The first sketch. Like we were just chatting. We were just chatting about magical girls and outfits. And then I turn and look back in the chat and she's drawn this up and I was just like I th this is this is perfect. This is perfection. What um this is now also my design, my official design. <laughs> and it's so good. I love it. I love it a lot. Uh also, did I rig the PNG myself? I did. I did all my own rigging for this model. Uh, for the chibi model, that was rigged by Dogwood Socks, who also did the art for it. He he made that whole model himself. But for my main model, uh, all of the rigging, I did all of it myself. And I'm actually in the process of re-rigging it to be a bit less stiff. But I'm it's it's a work in progress. It's very much a work in progress. I was hoping to have it done last year. That did not happen. I might get it done this year. I don't know if I will have time. But it's really difficult. Like live 2D rigging is so much work. It's it's mostly time consuming more than anything. And I'm hoping to get it done soon, but I will I will eventually. But yeah, it's really nice though cuz I have like the different toggles too. Like I I've, I've got a toggle to get my automaton out <laughs> and put that back. And uh what else can I do? What else can I do? I, I I know I can take my cloak off with... I don't know which of these buttons it is. That's the automaton. Is this my cloak? Yeah, there it is. I can take my cape off. Just show my shoulders. But I like having my, my cape on. It's a cool cape. <laughs> but yes, anyway. Uh, I digress. How did, how did this happen when we were talking about... Pasta. The history of pasta. <laughs> yep. The learning. But oh, I did a great job. Thank you. Thank you. It's honestly, it's really fun to learn about Live 2D and how Live 2D works. And if you are curious in it, I definitely recommend like downloading the program, the free trial version and just playing around with things, seeing how it works. But it's a lot of fun. It's a lot of fun. Anyway, back to back to Olive, Ol Olive, Olive, <laughs> Olive learning. I pick up the box that once held the noodles. Not that this is authentic Italian or anything. <laughs> Are you kidding? I thought it was. How do you know that? Huh? Doesn't everyone? And see, here is the moment. And Olive is presuming that everybody knows this, but they don't. In the same way that Caprice is assuming that everyone knows what values are in art, when they don't. This is going to be a little learning moment, huh? Yeah, but there are things that make it definitely Italian, right? Sure. Olive oil is a big one in yeah. Italian dishes, but the way the noodles are... Oh, I see what's happening. I shift my eyes from the back of the pasta box to my tutor. She gives an embarrassed looking, you got me smile. You get it, right? This is the same exact thing. Yeah. No matter what you're learning, the building blocks are all the same from pasta to paintings. So true. At least that's what the class is trying to say. You can make an Italian dish because you know what makes one up. Yeah. And if you know what makes up a Baroque-style painting, you can recognize it and paint your own. Yeah, the elements of it. 
Again, Caprice has surprised me enough to keep my attention. <laughs> For some reason you thought Olive was me. <laughs> oh, I do love Olive. They are great. I feel like I could... I could, like... I I'd love to, like... I, I say this all the time. I say this every time I play a visual novel. I would love to voice a character in a visual novel. But I think I could do a monotone character pretty well. I think if I'm going for this kind of character who's just kind of a little bit sick of things, but it's okay. We'll, we'll get through. We got this. I'm okay. But I could also do a really energetic one too. I could do like a, a really, a really peppy character. Someone who's like really happy, having a great time. I, I could do that. I could totally do that. Or I could go for a villain. I, I do want, to, I, I would love to voice a villainous character at some point. I think I could do it quite well. I think it would be fun. It's something I keep meaning to work on. I've been, I've been working on my, my voice reel, my demo reel. It's been a lot of work. I haven't gotten around to it yet, but... That is in the works. I'm getting around to it. Slowly but surely. I'll get there. I'll get there. Don't you worry, darling. <laughs> I really like... I like doing voices. I, I like doing silly voices for things. I think it's fun. But yeah. I, yeah, plus, like, if I did, like, a villain role, I have the British accent already. I feel like the British accent really, like, ties itself to villainous characters. It's like, if you're watching, like, an action movie or something, and you see a guy in a suit walk up, and he starts talking with a British accent, you know that's the bad guy. You just, like, instantly know. <laughs> like, instantly you hear, and you're just like, well, that's gonna be the villain. <laughs> it's one of my favorite funny stereotypes. Yeah, again, Caprice has surprised me enough to keep my attention. It's just like cooking. You just try stuff out until mm. you get the hang of it. And then, like, once you learn the fundamentals too, you get an idea of what will work together. And what won't. Considering the little I know about her culinary escapades, that alone explains so much. Uh, wait, <laughs> no. It's really not the same at all. I read recipes. I also have my manager at work constantly watch over me and tell me if what I was doing was right or wrong. Mm. Supervision! Yeah, you, you need to create something and have Caprice over your shoulder just going, Hey, what if you draw a line there instead? I'm not really the type to learn by just diving headfirst and hoping for the best. Yeah, you need the, the, the guidelines. Olive needs someone to, like, redline their work. Just just have Caprice come in with a red pen and just, like, correct the little parts. He, something clicks for both of us. And we swivel to meet each other's gaze. They, they finally get it. They get it. They're getting it. Uh. They're getting it. Aha! They're getting it. Yes! That's it, then. I'm gonna have to teach you all the recipes for every art movement. Every art movement? That'll be easy. Consider me the soup chef of social movements. Okay. That sounds like a lot. I'm sure it'll be fine. I believe in Caprice. Yeah, the soup chef. Just a little bit of everything in the soup. <laughs> I don't even want to correct her. I feel like Soup Chef is, is like, more accurate. <laughs> we Chef. We oui, we. Oui. She definitely didn't see my offer to cook in the cards today. So actually being able to tie it all in on the spot is impressing me more than the actual lesson. True, her attempt to connect was a little clumsy, but it definitely worked. I think we both understand each other a bit better. Yes! It was, that was like really fast thinking on Caprice's part. I'm proud of her. I'm proud of all of them. I'm proud of everyone in this whole game. I, I want to tell them all what a good job they're doing. I just want to give everyone a hug and tell them they're doing great, sweetie. <laughs> I begin to drain the pasta. When I originally thought of an elective art class, I thought I'd just be drawing whatever, which seemed doable. It's hard to consider all the history and stuff alongside it, though. Yeah. The art we do today is built on the art of the past. Or something like that. 
I think cooking is probably the same. Yeah, it's like if, if you're gonna like make a new recipe, you, you already have like a baseline to work on. It's like if you're going to make like a new type of cake, you still have the original cake recipe first to base it off. And then it's about adding to that and seeing what meshes with that. They're actually really similar. It's really cool. It is, yeah. But I understand, so we don't need to keep stretching the comparisons. Wait, I just realized as well, didn't I say right at the start of this scene that Caprice would teach well if she starts using, like, comparisons and, like, like, trying to teach things that way, like, being, well, it's like this and this? I literally said that at the start of this scene. I am so proud of myself right now. I called it. I called it. I am proud. I am... I am so... I'm... Yes. I just, like... I just instantly got that from her. And you want to know why I got that from her? It's because that's the same with me. That is how I learn things and how I teach things. I always do it, like... If you can't visualize it like this, imagine it, like, Bloom instead. Like, she reminded me so much of myself that I was like, I, I know. <laughs> I knew. I knew. I know. <laughs> really good at predicting things that are gonna happen. I'm... I feel like it's something that I am good at as a person, though. It's one thing I'm always proud of. I think I am a... It's gonna sound funny saying this, considering how many times I, like, miss things in video games. But I feel like I am a very perceptive person. Like, when it comes to other people and feelings and situations and things like that, I think I'm a very perceptive person. I pick up on things quite quite easily, I think. And like in a way where I'm not usually wrong as well. I'm usually I usually pick up on things that are like like I'm right about it. So, it's it's nice like in moments like this being like, "Oh, I think I know where this is going." And then it actually going that way because it shows like how how easy it is to relate to these characters. Like I I'm, I'm getting to know the characters and their motivations, what they're thinking, what they're doing, and I, 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 I feel proud. I'm, I'm like, I, I, I love it. I love it. <laughs> I love it so much. I love all of these people. They're so good. Anyway, yes, I'm, I'm very proud of myself for that one. <laughs> <laughs> yes, me too. Finally, at the end of that lesson. I returned to watching the pot in front of me. Olive, stop that, a watched pot never boils. You know, um, that's, that's just like straight up wrong as a phrase, but uh. <laughs> Food's about done by the by. Ha <laughs> ha. I'm glad we hit the important part of the lesson. Good job, team. We did it, woo. The most important part of the lesson, getting yummy food. Haley is so real for that. Over lunch, Caprice tried tutoring me from the book some more. Haley looked on with what I can only guess is amusement. <laughs> I don't know if anything changed within me because of what she said, but for some reason, talking about it while eating the spaghetti I cooked made it feel a little easier to get into. Thanks for the lunch! Hee <laughs> Thank you for helping me out. Really. Eee, I'm so glad. I promised I would. And she would never break a promise. If you liked it, I could teach you how to make something like this sometime, too. Are you sure about that? Are, are you sure about... Caprice... near, um, open flames boiling things? I don't know, it's probably fine. Yeah! Just make sure you have a fire <laughs> extinguisher. Or three, and if you do. <laughs> yeah. And see, again, I'm I'm here just like my little ADHD senses are tingling. I'm like, Caprice would start boiling faster, she'd wander off to do something else, she'd forget about it, she'd come back and the water is completely drained, the pasta's gone rubbery, things may be on fire, hopefully aren't. I don't know, I think she could. She'd just have to be really determined and focused on it. She'd have to just fully stare at that pot the whole time without getting distracted. 
And then I think she could make a really good meal. Hey, it wasn't that bad. <laughs> Haley visibly shudders. It was worse than bad. What happened? Please tell me, please. Oh, please, 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 please. It was one mistake. Don't worry about it. Please tell me about it. Nope, nope. We're not learning about the egg incident. It is simply the egg incident. Okay. She ushers me out the door, closing it behind her. Forget about that. Okay, I will never forget. You're not going to tell me. <laughs> nope. It's the past. Let's keep looking forward. <laughs> okay. Well, it involves an egg in a microwave, so I feel like I can guess some of what's involved there. Uh-huh. <laughs> well, thanks again for the tutoring. <laughs> I hope some of it stuck. You can be thick-headed. Thanks. Oh, really? And you're not? I'm the teacher here. You're allowed to be thick-headed. Besides, I've cracked the code. You're never going to be able to get rid of me or my fun history facts. Yes, I want to know the fun history facts. Oh? How is that? Give me your phone and you'll see. Oh? Alright, good luck cracking that cone then. I didn't think it would actually be one, two, three, four. Olive. Olive. Olive, please. Your actual password isn't password, is it? No, it's password one, two, three. With an exclamation point at the end and a capital P at the start because it needed a capital and a character. I can't <laughs> move on from this topic. Olive, uh... With a few quick swipes, Caprice navigates to my contacts and opens up her own profile. A couple taps later, music starts playing. Olive is not a secure person. To be fair, I don't think Olive would have a single thing on their phone that they'd want to hide. Like, they don't particularly have anything they'd need to keep secure. They probably literally only use it to, like, text their mom and other people. I don't- I, I couldn't see them using it, like, casually very often. <laughs> I mean, like, the way they type as well, they, they just don't- I, I don't think they care. I don't think they're gonna be the type to, like, download Candy Crush or anything. Meanwhile, I bet Caprice has about 12 different gacha games installed that she played for two days and then forgot about. Not speaking from experience. Uh, thank you for the hydrate! <laughs> thank you for the hydrate! Let me have a sip of my drink. Olive's one phone secret. They still have Flappy Bird! Hey, do you know what? I still have Flappy Bird on my phone. I have I have Flappy Bird on my phone. I I downloaded it when it was out and I never deleted it. And every time I've transferred my phone stuff to a new phone, the app has gone with it. <laughs> so I still have Flappy Bird. I've been talking so much. Drink. Yes, let me keep hydrating. And thank you, thank you. Also, CJ, thank you for joining the Discord. Welcome. Welcome on in. I hope you like cat photos. <laughs> yes, I have a relic. It's so it's so special. I will never uninstall it. There are other apps that I end up uninstalling along the way because I end up running out of space on my phone because it's full of cat photos. I have an embarrassing amount of cat photos on my phone. I need to transfer them off, but I just don't. So I've got like 10 years worth of cat photos on my phone. So that most of the space is taken up with that. It is photos and videos and it's all Tiffany. But yeah, I, I'm, I always forget I download things and then I just keep them installed until I run out of space. And then I'm like, oh, hey, I remember this game from three years ago. I can probably uninstall that. Ah. <laughs> uh, Sai Libertine, hello! Welcome, welcome! Fancy clothes! Yeah, this is my magical girl look. My magical girl outfit. We had a, an outfit swap redeem 
So I'm a little fancy today. I got my cloak on. I got my, my little jabot. But my hair is still sleek. But uh, welcome on in. Okay, but understandable. Tiffy is worth filling my phone space for. It is. Like, I'm... I kind of don't want to transfer the photos over in case I randomly decide I want a photo of her when she was like two years old and I need it available. I just like having them there. I oh, don't know why, but Olive strikes you as the type of person to play Cookie Run Kingdom. <laughs> Wait, no, actually, I could see that. I could see that. Like, just when they're lying in bed about to go to bed, they just like pick their phone up and play Cookie Run. <laughs> I could see that. Anyway, music starts playing. Ta da! I'm gonna oh. send you a million notes. Every single day will be a quiz. Oh no, what what is she? What does she download? Ah, uh, I don't think I've ever set a custom ringtone before, so I wouldn't be able to change it even if I tried. She snickers. The smile left behind on her face is contagious. She got me. <laughs> After a moment, she passes back my phone. Don't forget, club meeting tomorrow. See you then. Okay. Yeah, same as always. Take care. She re-enters the apartment, slamming the door behind her. I retrieve my bike and prepare for the ride home. Later, I catch myself at work, cooking with a little more enthusiasm than normal. Oh, bless. Yeah, the, the energy really is contagious. Caprice is... Yeah, Caprice seems like such a fun person. I feel like she would be just like the best friend. Like, even if you're feeling down, I feel like you see Caprice smiling and it just makes you smile as well. At least it makes me smile. <laughs> I must stick out like a sore thumb in this room full of nonchalant students as the professor passes around the stack of handouts. Uh, I know we're a ways off, but I like to assign the final for this course relatively early. Oh. Okay. While my peers' eyes largely seem to glaze over, I find myself desperately clinging to every word. I don't think this is a hard class, but I do expect a few things from you. For this project, I not only want to see a tactical understanding, but also a window into your mind. Okay, so it's gonna be the food or plants. I want to see you know what art is, not just how to execute it. <laughs> Caprice, help! <laughs> it's a bit of a subjective metric, which is why I want to assign this early. I can teach you the former, but it's up to you to figure out how to present the latter. I want to give you time to stew on it. Oh, no pressure. It's no surprise Caprice had mentioned taking classes with this professor before. They both seem to enjoy the philosophy of it all, almost more than they like the medium itself. The fact that my tutor holds the same teaching style as my professor should come as a relief, but I can't help but feel the knots forming in my stomach. Thanks, Professor Sion. <laughs> No matter how much I study, it could still come crashing down if I don't measure up to his invisible standards. Whether it was a deliberate act after sensing my worries, or a simple disregard for personal space, a small bump from Caprice's elbow drags me out of my own head and back into reality. I'm sure she'll want to say her piece on the matter once class is out, so I decide to keep my head down as I pore over the assignment sheet hundreds of times until the top of the hour. Caprice is quick to meet my pace as we exit the room, the quickly widening smile on her face making it clear she's eager to talk. <laughs> you can feel the cowboy and the professor begging to be set through. The, the, the poor art professor just being there like, yeehaw. It would get along well with Eileen. Eileen really had all of those, like, westerns, huh? <laughs> it's making my own head cannons for the professor now because of the Scion. <laughs> anyway, anyway, Caprice! See, Oli? Passing's gonna be easy peasy. I'm glad you think so. 
simple disregard for personal space it is. I think you and I have different definitions of easy and peasy. Mm. Her grin remains steadfast. While part of me wishes she'd wilt at least a little with me for the sake of validation, I'm glad my pessimism isn't contagious. Nah, you're already on the right path to acing everything with flying colors. Just gotta keep up with the club and you'll have absolutely nothing to worry about. I'm glad Caprice is so confident, at least. The club. I'm not sure how to feel about it right now. On the one hand, every time Caprice had to leave early, all we focused on were the windows to our minds. At the same time, it's like being given toy blocks and suddenly being told to build a real house afterwards. Without a solid foundation, and compared to real artists like Eileen and Wallace, I'm just playing pretend. When my dour expression doesn't give, Caprice visibly ponders my reaction for a moment. We don't have a meeting today, but we can head to the room anyway if you want. I can help brainstorm ideas with you. Yes! I don't doubt she would. Lately, our text messages are filled with her scattershot tips and tricks for remembering every art movement. I feel like the better idea here would be to find one movement and learn more about it, instead of just everything at the same time. <laughs> While we haven't found time for additional study sessions, her promise to help me out has, uh, to, uh, to help me out more has held true. Unfortunately. I can't today, sorry. <sighs> I've got a shift at work starting in an hour or so. Her face lighting up at this revelation worries me more than it should. I could come with. Of course she could. I ride my bike to work. So? Uh-huh. And? My one-seater bike. Backs are made for piggybacks. In truth, I could probably fit another person on it if I absolutely had to, but it's as good of an excuse as any. Oh, yeah, right. Um... One visit to my place of work was troubling enough. When I think of my mom meeting her, I instinctively shrink away, hoping Caprice won't reach the next obvious idea. Ah, huh, I could just take the trolley. I still remember where it is, so I'll just drop by later. Yeah. Oh well. <laughs> I double check her directions before sending her off, not wanting her to get lost now that she's already committed. Given its unique exterior, I doubt she'll have any issues finding it again. I'll be actually working, though. If things are busy, we might not get a chance to talk at all. No problem. I'm patient. Is she? No, yes, yeah, she is. I was about to say, is she a little Miss Pushy? But she is very patient when you consider how long she waited for Eileen to join the club. If she wasn't patient, she would have given up very early on. She's surprisingly patient. <laughs> I've never believed a statement less in my life. But I, I think she like genuinely is quite patient. She's just so energetic, it doesn't come across that way. <laughs> She's just passionate. What's this? Oh. Oh, this is so pretty. With things starting to slow down as customers begin leaving, Mom finds the time to surprise me with a few small flowers living comfortably in a tiny ceramic pot. We've got the caprice flower. We had the olive plant. We had the millie flower. Is this the caprice flower? It feels like it would suit her. The pot's adorned with some bright, painted-on patterns and shapes. Another companion for your windowsill! Oh, I also figured I'd pick up a brush and try painting something myself, so it'd feel like we were learning something together. Oh, that's so... That's lovely. That is so sweet. I love this. The flowers are vibrant and obviously healthy, likely from Mom's own garden. 
considering how I got my green thumb from her, it's no surprise to see how carefully taken care of they've been. You would think she hated me, trying to drive me to tears during work hours. Thankfully, the sound of my phone going off pulls us away from that sentimental gesture right before I hit that tipping point. <laughs> I would also want to cry in this situation. Oh, that's so lovely. Oh, I love this. Alert! Now? Lesson 53. Values! This is yours! Huh? Oh great, my old art, my favorite. This is yours too! When I told you to fill the background with black, it was a trick! It made you think about your light more! Not just the darkness. Just like! No more responses. I can only assume she ran out of date. <laughs> you okay, honey? <laughs> she sent too many messages. That's, that's why you put more in one line. Oh, brilliant. <laughs> yeah, uh, my friend was just... <laughs> I love her. I love Capri so much. <laughs> the dramatic burst in. My heart leaps out of my chest as Capri bursts into the restaurant. I nearly drop my phone, scrambling to keep hold of it. Capri stands proudly in the door, huffing and catching her breath. Did she sprint here for the punchline? Were you talking about me? Looks like I got here right on time. I don't know if that's what I'd call it. I was going to introduce her beforehand, but... Well, now's as good a time as any to rip this bandage off, I guess. Goodness! Nice to meet you, uh... Oh, uh, Caprice, this is my mom. Mom, this is my friend who's been helping me out with tutoring and stuff. Yay! So I heard! Hehe. <laughs> <laughs> What's with that little laugh, Mom? What was that for? Mom laughs loudly, unfazed by her explosive entrance. Almost simultaneously, they exchange large smiles. It is so good to finally meet you! <laughs> Olive talks about you all the time, you know. Oi! Mom, stop it. <laughs> all of it is good, I hope. Naturally. <laughs> I love Olive's expression here. Just like, here we go. They're quick to get lost in their own conversation, pushing me off to the side as they catch up like old friends. <laughs> oh, the, the, the fact that you work with your mom is so cool. I want to do that someday too. Oh, this is so cute. Oh, look at this. Look at this. I love these two being so wrapped up in conversation and Olive just looks like they want to run. They just want to run. I love this. I love this. Oh, I love August. I, I love Caprice. I love Olive. I love this game. We make a good team. Yeah. Mom beams at my response. It's a relief to see I can still make a positive impact on her mood. I eye over my new little flower pot. Oh, yeah. I noticed that when I came in. What's the deal with all the flowers? They're cute. I must have given Caprice an excuse to bring it up with my careless gaze. Thankfully, Mom seems fine retreading the topic with her. Oh, I just wanted to give Ollie a little something for all their hard work lately. Besides, Quinn needed a friend anyway. <laughs> Excuse me? A friend for the, uh, is, is, is Quinn the, the, the name given to the, the cactus? Quinn? <laughs> I 
Mom looks to me to answer the query. I wish she'd picked a better time to involve me in the conversation outside of one of the more embarrassing sentences I've said today. It's the name yeah, of the cactus I take care of at home. Aww. Aww. Cute. The fact that that sounded sincere just makes the embarrassment worse. I painted the pot too, you know. An indirect inspiration from you helping Ollie along, actually. Oh, wait, she did? Wait, that's so cute. That's so cute. A light bulb seems to go off in Caprice's head. Your mom's got the right idea, Ollie. Regardless of what's being drawn or painted or whatever, something like a gift is gonna have a bunch of heart put into it. You're just gonna have to tap into that kind of energy for your final. Haha. <laughs> I guess that makes sense, but it feels like trying to brute force something like that for a grade goes against the entire concept. Maybe I'll just turn this in for my final grade then. <laughs> no, that's plagiarism. That's no fun. <laughs> I want to see what kind of work you can do. In a way, maybe the art club and all of our activities have been a stroke of secret genius on Caprice's part. With all the emphasis on doing, on just doing art, it's a lot less daunting of a concept. Mom's gift as an example. She put her heart into it, and I know she hasn't been studying color theory or the golden ratio. Even as people start filing in and orders are placed, I find myself coming back to Caprice's table more and more. She orders herself her usual fries to not take up a table. Not that Mom or I would ask her to leave anyway. <laughs> Oh, respectful Caprice, yes. The afternoon becomes evening as we while away the time. The incoming dinner rush eventually forces both Mom and I to focus more on work, but even then, Mom makes time to grab Caprice refills and ask more about her. I keep catching Caprice stealing glances at the flowers, and at one point, she finally regards me with an apologetic look. Hey, Ollie. Sorry for promising Aww. to help with coming up with ideas, but I got a bail. I want to buy some art supplies on the way home and the shop will be closing soon. Oh, that's okay. I feel like this has been, like, idea-inspiring enough, to be honest. No problem. I think I get the basic idea anyway. We can talk more at the next meeting. I'm used to these early exits. At least, that's what I'll tell myself. It's harder to wrestle with wanting her to stay, somehow. Is, is Olive beginning to feel the feelings? The feelings? Like, oh goodness, this is strange. Why don't I want Caprice to leave? That's so, that's so weird. I don't know why that could be. Why don't I want Caprice to go? It is a mystery. Hopefully sooner! Yeah! She bounces to her feet. Before leaving the streetcar, she turns to us one last time. It was nice to meet you, ma'am. You've been a real help to me, too. Oh? And with a small wave, she's gone. I like her. Me too. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Yeah, I think Olive likes her too. I think Olive likes her too. I like her too. And with that, I'm just looking at the time. And I think this is probably a good spot to leave it at. We're at the start of a, a scene. So I'm going to save the game here. <laughs> And that seems like a good spot to leave it at before I go and make myself some dinner. And then also try and tidy my room and figure out how my air conditioner works. And tidy my desk for tomorrow. And numerous other things. I've, I'm go I've got a busy evening ahead of me. Oh, goodness. <laughs> but that feels like a good spot to stop off at for now. I always like when I reach the end of a scene and it's close to the time I'd usually end. It, it works out really nicely. 
But yeah! But look, we got the, the flower here after doing Millie's. And we've got the cactus here who I feel really represents Olive. And so I'm imagining we're going to get the blue flowers for Caprice. I'll be very curious to see if I'm right when we finish it. But I'm, I, I love this game so much. I love it. I love how it always just, it brings up so many conversation topics. It is such a good game to play and discuss with people. It's, it's really nice. Like there's so much, there's so much heart that's gone into it and you can really tell that. And it, it really like, it makes me think about things too. Like thinking about my own learning style, how I learn in games, in games, in, in school, in everything, how I just learn in general. Why did I say in games? I guess it's not completely wrong, but yeah, like my style of learning and how I would go about teaching somebody and things like that. I, I feel like there's there's a little bit of every single character in this that I've like grasped out to like, oh, that's like me. You're so like me for real, for real. <laughs> and it's been a while. It's been a while since I played a game that made me feel like that. Like I really, really adore Please Be Happy with my whole heart. But I don't think I ever thought, like, the characters are, like, really, really like me. Like, there were little moments that I did connect to, but they were very much like their own characters in a way that's different to me. Whereas this one, I feel like I'm connecting, like, on a personal level with all of them, which is a little bit scary in a way. <laughs> it's like, how how do they all manage to be relatable? How? What? What? Witchcraft is this? What is happening? But it's so good. I love it. It's just, it's such a good game. It's so good. I love it. But yes, I should probably head off now. I need, I need to figure this AC thing out. I've, I've been putting it off because I need to do stuff to make it happen. But I need to stop. I need to stop putting it off. I, what would Caprice do? Caprice would sit and figure it out. Caprice would be like, I need to do this thing now. I'm doing it. I'm going to do it. I do it right now. Maybe not right now. After dinner. <laughs> but yes, with that, I shall uh, bloop. I will head on over to here and we can find a raid target. We can find someone to send a raid on to. But uh, thank you so much, everyone. Uh, what model AC did I get? Um, I got one that had good reviews. I don't know if there's like a brand name or model or anything, but it's a, it's a portable air conditioning unit. It's the type where, like, you connect a hose to a window and then it's just, like, a little standing unit. So I just I just need to figure out how to make it work. It's my challenge. My challenge for the evening today. Uh, you're going to look up the manual to post in Discord. I literally have a manual. I have the manual. It came with a manual. I have a physical booklet of the manual. You don't need to do that. But it's still just like, it's not just about knowing what to do. It's the mental energy of like figuring it out. And it's like, it's not just setting it up. It's setting up the, the window screen to seal off the window when the vent's going out. It's setting up the floor space and clearing stuff off my floor to figure out where it needs to be positioned. It's all the little parts that add up to like turning it on. It's, it's like a whole little procedure. But I think I just need to do it one step at a time. I need to just start with clearing my floor. Just pick up the things on my floor. That's like the first step. That's all That's all I need to do to start with. I have a plan, a plan of action after I've eaten because I hungry. But yes, let's see who's on. Oh my goodness. I just, I just jump scared myself. I just jump scared myself. I tabbed in to my browser to go to Twitch to find someone to raid and I'm on the Google image search for wolf eels. I've just got a page full of wolf eels. I just jump scared myself. That was terrifying. I was not ready for that. I, why? Oh. That was terrifying. Why did I leave that open? I'm, the, oh, let's find someone. I got, I, <laughs> let's see who's around. Who's online? Who should I raid? 
Was? Oh, oh, oh my goodness, oh my goodness, oh my goodness. Oh my goodness. Oh my goodness, oh my goodness. I'm raiding Marigato. I'm raiding my lovely, lovely friend Mari. I'm raiding Marigato. Uh, I'm gonna send the raid over to Mari because she is... She's playing the Stanley Parable. She's playing the Stanley Parable and I love that game. I adore that game. I have two sound alerts from that game. The gym is from that game. The eight is from that game. Eight. I adore the Stanley Parable. And I don't think she's played it before. Cause yes, it's first. she's got the first playthrough tag. We have to. Oh my god! <gasps> she's getting the broom closet ending. We have to go right now. We have to go right now. We have to go. We have to go right now. She's getting the broom closet ending. Here's the raid message. Here's the raid message. If you're subbed, we got comfy. If not, we got hearts. We're going. We're going. We're going to marry. We're going to marry. I'm so excited. I'm so excited. I love this game so much. It's such a good game. But yes, thank you so much, everyone, for joining me today. I will be back tomorrow. I'm going to be doing my hand cam stream tomorrow. And I've got so much stuff to show off. It's just going to be my little merchandise show and tell. And I have twofold merch. And I have my own merch. It's going to be really cool. But yes, I'm sending you over Mari's way. Please send the love from me. I will be back tomorrow. But that's it from me for now. Thank you so much, everyone, for joining me. And until next time, bye-bye.